Welcome back to Fallout New Or. Um, it is week three now. I am your host and um, evil mastermind DM, Bucky. And these are my beloved players. Oh, hi. Uh, Hello? Hi, guys. <laughs> week three, they think they're in for a good time. Yeah, week y'all four, are they realize time. they're wrong. Week three, y'all realize you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> you feel <laughs> what's up, <laughs> asshole? All right, but no more talk about that because Hannah hasn't finished um, Undertale yet. But anyways, so a uh, quick recap of last week. It was relatively uneventful in terms of actual things happening, but there was a lot of uh, RP and backstory stuff shared, at least on Leilani's end. Um, P.S. Nice work, Eli. Um, Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, so they, let's see, the group left Phoenix City. And they were chattering away, Leilani was being Leilani, and knew absolutely nothing about the world. For example, he thought this was a greeting. Um, And, uh, let's see, they ran across a Pokeball salesman um, calling his business Dick's Balls. Um, Are y'all okay? No. (laughs) You agreed to this, Hannah. I know. <laughs> That's the true tragedy, isn't it? Um, I have many regrets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. And then, let's see, they ran across a couple of raiders who were basically raider wannabes. Not even good enough to be raiders themselves. They were so tragic. Um because Dick's balls are the best balls in the wasteland. <sighs> um, thank you, jury. Yes, thank you, jury. Um, let's see. Uh, then... Oh, yeah, y'all yeah, stop by the Oasis where you got some supplies. Um, Hannah, make sure that uh, your supplies include one Pokeball... Um, and I think the starting amount I said for you guys were ten potions and then one of each healing item. Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, so, y- yeah, y'all went to Oasis, then y'all went to Pyrite, and it was nighttime by then, and y'all met- stopped... Go on. No, 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 I was just gonna say we met Jake. Yeah, y'all stopped by um, Jake's house slash shop where he and his dad live and work um conveniently jolene has not jolene and jake have not yet seen each other and as such not recognized each other because what a um, convenient coincidence that that didn't happen while i was gone i try to avoid that kind of convenient shit but you know i wanted it to and also he was dealing with all these other assholes fair fair So Jolene was just in the corner knitting while Jake was frantically trying to avoid Emma feeding everyone Pokeblocks. Um, feeding everyone the merchandise. Um, and then Jake's father agreed to let you all stay the night. Uh, am I missing anything? I mean, I mean, obviously you all might want to share some of the stuff you are peed. Spark didn't get damn paid. You got paid just in... A service rather than money. Paid in hospitality. <sighs> also, uh, find some really cheap canteens now. I. Uh, well, Leilani asked uh, why uh, Leila has two moms. Uh, yes. that? And also talked that open- homophobia. homophobia. And also talked openly about active eugenics. Mm-hmm. Spark was very uncomfortable during that. Indeed. <clears throat> I mean, I think everyone... Oh, yes, and Jolene made everyone sweaters. I did. Okay. Layla is asking uh, for a for alligator on hers, for reasons unknown. <laughs> um, so, unless you all have something you would like to add or do before um, this time, it, I'm going to say that it is morning. Uh, there was one thing I wanted to say that I forgot to say that I did. Yes. Um, when they camped out before... He mm-hmm. left out a small bit of food. It was eaten. 
Bye. I mean, you didn't see anything. Something that left before you woke up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something that managed to evade your detection. It was a magic card. Very <laughs> no, it was not. Very specifically, I'm leaving food out for a very specific Pokemon, and you know what that Pokemon is. Mm-hmm. I do. I know what it is. I know what it is. Because I watched everyone's one off. It, and, and no one watched Andrea's. <clears throat> Alright, so, uh, yeah. That's Anyways. It's a secret, though. Secret, what? secret, 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 backstory, backstory, backstory. Alright, so. Anyways, um. Y'all, it, it, um, y'all wake up the next morning. My inventory says ten pot. <laughs> I mean... We've barely oh. started. Uh, <laughs> I assume that stands for potion. I assume yeah. so too. But my inventory just says ten pot. <laughs> and I felt the need to share. Ten jam. <laughs> Five <laughs> inches of carrot juice. I also have a drug needle. <laughs> Ten pot. Link is getting excited. <laughs> this person <laughs> injected so ten pot and then died. Clark Why overdose. <laughs> <laughs> Only Clark would manage to overdose on marijuana. Well, yeah, he injected ten of them, didn't you hear? <laughs> Anyways, so it is the next morning. What do you all do? Oh, I no. present I'll... everyone with their new sweaters. Excellent. Can what I ask does... what Q's looks like? Yeah, what do they all look like? Huh? Oh god. Um. Can mine have a fur alligator on it? Can Leela have sure. requested a fur alligator and got one? Yeah. Yay. Yes. You re- any any requests you made are retroactively fulfilled. Also, except for Leilani, who gets a slow poke. <laughs> no matter what he asks for. Or specifically, but Leilani. Leilani's just kind of holding it and says, Um, thank you. <laughs> um, I pat what's Leilani Q's? gently on the head. What's Quinn's? Um, or Q's? Q- uh. Q's uh, kind of matches like his overall aesthetic. Like it's kind of patchworky looking, even though it's all one piece, and it's it's in mostly like dark browns that blend into the forest. It's a camouflage sweater. There's a bo- there's a bone sewn in somewhere. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Quinn looks at it. Yeah, yeah, and he immediately just slips it on. Aw, Leilani uh, goes, "Oh my gosh, where did he go?" <laughs> God damn it. Actually, Leilani is going to tie their sweater around his waist. Um, guys, um, Q slips on his sweater. Secretly, Clark is piggybacking on him. Yes. Oh, God damn it. Invisibility Clark. <laughs> Invisibility Clark. <laughs> okay, um, did Spark request anything? Uh, no. Okay, so what does it look like? Um, Spark, Spark receives a black sweater with bright red trim. Ooh, awesome. that's right up her alley. Yeah. She's going to run off, put it on, put the hood back on, over it, and then come back. So no, one, can see, no one sees her face. So we have a fur alligator sweater, a slowpoke sweater, um, a bone sweater, and a Spark sweater. Awesome. Um, Layla also ties hers around her waist. I'll put it on when it gets colder. But this is good, it'll keep us from forgetting about the slowpoke and the feraligator. Oh, that's right, you guys don't know about the feraligator. Of the what? Um, a feraligator saved me. But, you know, when we were at the Oasis the other day? Like, not Oasis Oasis, but, you know, the Oasis before the Oasis? Yes, I uh, think. sure. Well, the body I, of water rather than the organization. Well, I got this kind of weird feeling that I shouldn't think about the slowpoke anymore. The slowpoke that Leilani saw, or the feraligator that I saw that saved me from a Vion attack. And I was thinking, well, that's kind of weird, so I want to be able to remember it. So, 
and she kind of um, unties the for alligator sweater and holds it up and beams. Leilani blinks and says, well, you absolutely should forget about the thing that didn't happen. And <laughs> Ayalana just sort of makes this trilling noise and you can tell she's laughing like... <laughs> I toss a very light, fluffy cape at Ayalana. Good! Yay! Oh yes, uh, Zero asks, do the Pokemon have sweaters too? Do they? Yes. Good. All the, Does all it have the room for Exy to receive sweaters? Does it have room so Exy can still light his butt? Yeah, it's it's Good. kind of um, it's it's like more of like a front sweater thing. They're they're all kind of oddly shaped, but they work. <laughs> one one day we'll get Jolene some fireproof material to make a sweater for Exy. In before she becomes sweaters. Edna. In before she becomes Edna mode for Pokemon. Edna mode. <laughs> Ah, well, you look fabulous anyway. Mm. Thank you very much for the sweaters, Miss Jolene. You're welcome. Thanks. I'll take it. You can tell she likes it. She put it on. It's true. <laughs> Eggsy is very much running around showing off everyone his new sweater. Good. Sarah oh, very clearly get... is rolling her eyes. D is Sarah um... putting on her sweater? I didn't know she got one. Everyone, yeah, all all got one. Like sweaters. Yes, all the everyone received like? a sweater. Oh, what's it look like for Sarah? Uh, I don't, I don't remember what Sarah looks like. Um, here I'll send a picture of what a Riolu looks like, then I'll describe what her. She's kind of like. upright, right? Yeah, yeah, she she's on two legs. Okay, it's probably a more sweater shaped sweater then. Uh, Alright, so this, open image, new tab, blah blah blah, this is a Riolu, and she is crossed with a Litwick, so the blue um, on her is white, there is a tuft of fur covering her right eye, Um, her eyes are yellow, and the black parts of her body are actually purple, and there is a little purple ghostly flame at the tip of her tail. Okay. It's it's probably like a purple and white sweater that's shaped more like a sweater then, if that wouldn't catch her on fire. Um, the the ghost flame isn't like a real flame. It it just takes the appearance of a flame, and but it doesn't light anything on fire. Neat. Yeah. Okay. Sweater. Yes, sweater. <laughs> um, is Ayolana? Ayolana doesn't really need a sweater. She's basically a sweater already. That's why she has a cape. Wait, what? She has a yeah. Jolene tossed a cape at her. Ooh. What does it look like? Oh my it's... god. What if you... What I'm if sorry, you I zarged. <laughs> no, no, it's not that you zarged. It's just that all these people are like, what's my sweater look like? <laughs> Sorry. Welcome to the it's sweater very, simulator. It's very dramatic and green, but also super lightweight. Ah, uh, Ayolana actually very proudly ties it around herself. Uh, she doesn't have arms. <laughs> she has yeah. leaves. Leaf things. Yeah, <laughs> she's able to use her little leaves as manipulators. Oh, hey! Yeah. Now, Le- now Ayolana is a superhero. She actually tries to puff herself out, but uh, the uh, cape comes untied, and she just sort of <laughs> makes frustrated Ayolana noises and throws the cape back at Jolene. Ayolana, that's not polite. Knock it off. Can I attempt to fix the cape for Ayolana? Uh, yeah, but it's a toughie because Ayolana can basically fluctuate to a quarter or 125% of her size. I used stretch cotton. (laughs) (laughs) You pilfered from Ayolana when she wasn't looking. I would never. (laughs) Pilfered from her when she was looking? (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. No, I just have a very large and versatile knitting basket. Fair. In which you also (laughs) knit cabbages. Cabbages! Have you ever accidentally knitted a jumper out of cabbages? Uh, that is not for you to know, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, 
Alright, so... Oh yes, does Sarah put the sweater on? Sarah, like, looks at the sweater, looks up at her, looks back at the sweater, and you can tell she's, like, going to throw it away. And she looks up at Qu Quinn, who's looking at her, and she's just like... She doesn't put it on, but she, like, folds it up very gently and tucks it under her arm and just stands there. I'll take it. Can I canon that, um, see... Oddishes usually don't have arms, but uh, Sprig does, like, have little, um... Stubs. She has little um, needle stubs, little needle nubs like Wurmples have, like, just mm -hmm. two, um, where arms would be. Um, mm -hmm. and they're very nubby and short. Um, so mm -hmm. presumably, presumably, Jolene tried to make the art the sleeves really short, but even then they're not short enough and they come down over her needles. Amazing. That's all. Amazing. I love it. I'm getting oh, flashbacks does to Letty. That's what I'm done with Letty! Letty! Okay. Um, does Emma get a sweater? I already made Emma a sweater. Oh, she that's did, right, that's right. Yeah. Um, if she's met the Pokemon before, the Pokemon has a sweater. Um, uh, for the record, does it, uh, uh, what's his, uh, uh, does, uh, Emma's trainer come in? Jake. Yes, thank you, sorry, I'm dumb. Lucky is typing. Oh, Bubbles, Bubbles oh. says once all the sweaters are on, roll focus safe to see if they fail. If they and if they fail, they spend the day talking about sweaters. I was <laughs> typing in the hitbox chat, but it didn't come up. Damn it! Are you signed in? I thought I was, but let me try again. Um, let me see if you're showing up. Wait, uh, are we actually supposed to roll focus or not? No, 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 no. Uh, no, Bucky, it doesn't. Yeah, you're not showing no, up yeah. here. Weird. I oh, I was Dave's fine. in. Really? Yay! Dave? That's... Hi, Dave. Oh, Dave's online. Hello. I th oh, I must have woken him. I'm sorry, honey. Who's Dave? Oh, my my partner. Well, one of them. Oh. Hi, Dave. Huh. Dave is Dally's real boyfriend. <laughs> well, are you, aren't you real? also at Dally's real boyfriend? Yeah. Dave has been my boyfriend for nine years, as opposed to a few months. And I'm just sort of elbowing in on everything. I, All right, I, I fell you. in love with you first, dude. <laughs> anyway, All right. anyway, Anyways. enough of that. Sorry. Let's get to some other love triangle now. All right. <laughs> a lot of feelings just happened right there. Sorry. Okay. No, anyway. it's not a bad, not a bad thing. Okay, so Emma comes out, sees everyone putting on their sweaters, brightens up, runs back um, into Jake's room, and comes out wearing her sweater. Oh god, no, she's too adorable, I can't take it. <laughs> Eggsy is oh. jumping around, bouncing around, Emma's like, you look really good in your sweater. You do too! Um, Sprig has gotten down on the floor and is running around after them, just kind of flailing her nubs and making her her overly long sleeved flail as well. Oh my god. My heart. Alright, I think I should be connected now. Um, Let's have a look. Yep, I see you. You're showing up. Yay! Online. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to the Sweater stream, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, um, so then Jake comes out yawning and says, Morning guys! And then he stops and like he sees all the sweaters. Hi, Jake. <laughs> Jolene made us sweaters. Uh, 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 question. Yeah. How how big is Jake? Um, is he just slightly taller than Spark? So small. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a he's a he's a small guy. I'm gonna say he's like five eight ish. Is there okay? I I'm not asking for Quinn's sake, but is there at any possible con? Any possible way at all that the sweater that was made for Sarah would fit him? No. No, 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 no. Mine. Nice, yeah. nice try. Sarah would have been like, if it had worked, you would have gone up and like, given it to him like it was a gift. It might work as a hat. <laughs> <laughs> as a hat. Jake's hey, Aaron shakes herself awake, stumps over to Sarah. 
pats her on the shoulder and says, you get used to it. Damn, did Eli Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Oh, well. Um, so I was going to, like, <laughs> lean over and very gingerly tuck her sweater into, like, Quinn's, like, probably, like, boot uh, pocket. So just... And then just, just, just stand there. Good. Uh, I did it. Sorry, what did I oh. miss? Uh, just Jake came out and was like, uh, and all the sweaters. Um, when Leilani sees Jake, he just uh, sort of tears off his sweater and looks around and then tosses it at Ayalana, who's just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Jake looks very confused. Where, where'd you guys get all the sweaters? I mean, I know, them. I know where Emma got hers, but hello. Oh, hi. Uh, I I remember you. You you gave Emma a sweater. That was very nice of you. Wait, you two have met? Yes. Yeah, we we fought in the Coliseum one day. It was Ooh, Spark. Just Spark straightens up. You all right, Spark? Who won? Can't we had a it. good time. I think what's important is that everyone had fun. Oh, she won. Spark just turns over and looks at Jolene, and you could just like it's like the darkening, darkening thing like in anime is like, did you hurt Emma? I mean, no. I needed her a sweater. Jake um, claps Spark on the shoulder and says, "Spark, it's okay." It was just a regular battle. No dirty tricks or anything like that. No raiders or whatever. She slumps back down. Like, hmm. Spark, she's a very nice lady. She knitted Emma a sweater. So, you know I don't trust everyone in the Coliseum. Um, but Jake oh. was in the Coliseum. You trust Jake, right? Jake is different. Well, so is Jolene. She has a shotgun. Oh, I almost forgot. I pull out a sweater for Jake. It matches Emma's. Yay! OMG. Jake brightens, takes it, and goes, Thanks! I didn't have one in your size when we were at the Coliseum. She's been nipping that, that's a fair. while we were on the road. She seems like the type. The type of knitting needles, yes. Um, by the way, turns out Dave <laughs> turns out Dave actually isn't listening in, he just left the tab open, but I passed on all the highs to him anyway. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, um Ah damn Eli's zarged again. Yeah. Alright, um Jake says, So, uh I mean, can I uh, get you guys something to eat or do you guys wanna take off? I mean, how much, uh, how much of a rush are we in? Well, I don't know, Spark. Oh. Do you have to do anything else while you're here? Nah. Usually I get the canteens when I'm at Phoenix. So I'll just look when we're at Gideon to see if I can't get any. What time of day is it? Morning. Like, you, when you just woke up. When you say take off, do you mean you can teach Pokemon fly? <laughs> Hannah, don't you dare. Don't you I'm dare, Hannah. I'm asking a simple question. Don't you dare, Hannah! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare! Oh God! Oh my God! That's Guys, no... jury's posting cute things. <laughs> There's a little baby okay. sitting. Ah! Ah! It exy. It exy. Don't make me ah! lap my butt. Make me lap my butt. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Oh, Eli's back. So I'm sorry. So yeah, Jake asked um, Eli for your clarification. He asked if you guys want breakfast or if you guys are gonna take off. Um, uh, Leilani wriggles and says, "I um, uh, I, I'm." It's I, not I, that I, complicated of a there. It's not uh, that complicated of a question. I didn't take off anything. <laughs> Leave. It's it's an idiomatic expression meaning to leave. 
I knew that. I was uh, participating in humor. I, I will, uh... Leilani, without another word, just turns on a heel and walks out of the room. <laughs> what the heck is his deal? He grew up in a village. Al- it takes a long time to understand well, yeah, idioms. Yeah, I get that. Ayalana, from underneath, where she's kind of half buried under the eye, sweater just goes... Exy you know, walks I over think and helps change Ayalana. the idioms about once every 20 years. Exy does, in fact, help uh, Ayalana out from under the sweater. She looks a little embarrassed, but says, Thanks. Yeah, Thanks. Them. Thanks, death smell. <laughs> death butt. Death butt. I think the word used last session was death ass. Yes. <laughs> death ass. <laughs> Right, so Jake just kind of stares after Leilani and he goes, Okay. Well then. Um, I'll go fix you guys some pancakes, I guess. Pancakes? Thanks, Jake. Thank you. And he heads off to cook. Um, Leilani, you can come out now. Leilani walks in and back in and says, I thought that was the door outside. Uh, <laughs> it went into the closet. <laughs> it's okay, Leilani. So, what's your deal? Why do you keep acting all funny around him? I, I don't know. He seems real nice. He looks really cool. He makes pancakes. Yes, yes. Emma. I'll yes, bet he- I have. Am- Noticed all those things, yes. I'll bet he's someone's boyfriend. Just, what? Um, what? He's so cool. Uh, you don't think he's dating anyone, actually. Really? Uh, eh, nothing I know of. He never mentioned it. Via Leilani sparks. walks back into the closet and closes the door behind him. What? Oh my god, that has so many meanings. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's literally literal. <laughs> Hi, Alan. <laughs> Hello, Alan. Um, Spark, by the way, um, you you would probably know after hanging out with him for a while that Jake is gay. Yeah. Yeah. Just you you had to, you had told me that. Yeah, but I was just making sure you knew that in character. Okay. <laughs> a A Ron taps gently on the closet door. <laughs> No! <laughs> and uh, Ayalon just says, uh, uh, okay, I don't know what's up with him either, but uh, he'll probably be in there for a while if uh, if the time's uh, back in the vault or any indication. So many meanings! Ayalon, is your human trying to put himself in a Pokeball? I wouldn't rule it out, really. A.A. Ron sighs heavily and curls up on the floor next to the closet in a way that she believes is comforting and functionally blocks the closet door from being opened until she moves. Yes. No! No! <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Spark is so... going to go over and try to move A.A. Ron and try to open the door and pull Leilani out. Sprig is dancing around going, Okay, you're supposed to go, Leilani, I choose you! Question. I can't yes. recall whether- I can't recall, but, um, <clears throat> was Leilani just as scared as fire as, um... <clears throat> oh my god, I can't remember. Ayalana. Ayalana. Um, Eli? He did seem pretty nervous about it. Yeah, he's- he seems to be zarging, um... Yeah, but he yeah, looks he, like he's still on here, but yeah, yeah he's, give it a moment and he'll disappear. Yeah, um, but yeah, I'll let you know that uh, he he did seem pretty nervous around fire. Um, I don't know if he's as scared as Ayalana is of it, but he's he is scared of fire. Oh, there he go. Yep, yep. there he go. There he go again. Also, yeah, do you, Dally, I was thinking that. Okay. Do you guys? Like, like my nickname in the rolls room. Let's see. Yeah, I have. 
Let me see. Wait, which one are you? I am oh. with you. With great power comes great Bucky. Don't ah. see it. Oh, yeah, I if see you're it. You're not up there. You, you, you say... There, there he is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Very good. I approve. What's up? My nickname in the rolls room is with great power comes great Bucky. Of course it is. <laughs> okay, so... Um, but anyway, what's what? Uh, Aaron is trying to comfort you from um, the other side of the door, only to be blocking the door entirely, and Spark just tried to move Aaron, open the closet, and pull Leilani out. Ah! Uh, Why do you keep going in the closet? Uh... Uh, by the second time, it was honestly just habit. Besides <sighs> that, enclosed spaces are comfortable. Have we actually gotten Leilani out of the closet? I'm sorry, I zoned out for a second. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, in some Leilani's way, not in very physically fit. In one way we have, yes. Not in the other <laughs> way, though. <laughs> I, I commented in the chat. God damn it. Why are you still in the closet? Because my vault is compulsively heterosexual. A.A. <laughs> <laughs> Ron made a loud scraping noise across the floor. She was moved. <laughs> just like, just like, ah, uh, damn, I couldn't get it like that. Damn. Left big gouges in the floor. <laughs> Jake comes out with a stack of pancakes, sees the gouges in the floor, and just looks okay. <laughs> hi, Jake. Uh, Sorry. Hi. I think Aaron was trying to help. Uh huh. Uh, pancake? Yes, please. Aaron looks completely unapologetic and takes several pancakes. Leilani, uh, wriggles uncomfortably and says, Um, Ayalana, I, I know you don't need to eat, but what, what, do you like any? And Ayalana will uh, just uh, grab it. Um, she actually moves her, uh, cotton to reveal a surprisingly big mouth full of surprisingly sharp teeth, uh, and... Uh, Snatches half of one of the uh, uh, pancakes and I, uh, I, uh, Leilani will very shyly take the other half. Amazing. Thank. Spark and Exia have both taken Thanks. a good stack of about four Thanks. or five pancakes each, and this like take them over to like a table and is eating them very 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 fast. Uh, have you played uh? Um, the second Mystery Dungeon game, the Explorers of Time, Explorers of Darkness one? I have yes. not, no. Because, like, I'm just imagining, like, whenever the guild gets together for dinner every night, and they're just like... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> uh, Q, Q will take probably, like, eight pancakes. I don't and know. Did he make that many? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sure, I mean, every, why not? Every, everyone's getting, like, three or four of them apiece. Leilani, like just takes the ha Leilani just takes the half that Ayalana didn't eat and says, if I Thank you, it out. Overseer. Shit! Uh, and then it what goes away. Thank, Thank you, Thank you Overseer. Overseer. Okay. Kid means thank you. Um, Jake is blinking and he goes, You're welcome. And then he wanders back into the kitchen to get more pancakes or make more. If I wanted to have Layla realize why Leilani is acting weird, would I need to roll insight? Would I? Sure, roll insight. Okay. Can I roll as well? insight? I'm really old. Um, <laughs> all of you roll insight. Ayalana being Leilani's best friend, she already knows, and she is just a. Giving the months and chewing on it. Oh, wait. Um, insight isn't in this. What would the other... What would it be instead? Intuition? Um, what was that? Sorry? Sorry. Intuition? Oh, right. That's right. Insight's the other game. Intuition <laughs> seems right. 
Uh, intuition or perception will work. Oh, I might roll perception then, since that's my better skill. But I rolled uh, a six. You're gonna have to a... roll higher on perception than intuition, though. Oh uh, well, I rolled a twenty on. Perception. Well, you passed. So <laughs> twelve for uh, intuition, not perception. I rolled a six on intuition. All right, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say higher than ten passes. Damn. So. Nice. Uh, error. So Layla has figured it out and Jolene has figured it out. Looks from Leilani to Jake and back. Huh. Say kid, did your vault teach you anything about condoms? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Um... They probably didn't, to be honest, because they were more interested in procreation than casual. I mean, what? Well, uh, they did exist, but only the overseers could really use them. If someone didn't want to have children, they either had to refrain or get the surgery done. And generally, that was only allowed if they had already had a few or if they were um, not meant to be breeding in the first place. Gross, kid. Your vault was fucked up. I hand him eight. We had this discussion. You had to. Uh, oh, what the? Where'd uh, you get the condoms from? Uh, the knitting basket. Why did you have condoms <laughs> Why not? What is, what is, well, because like, how how old is how old does she look again? She's already old, and she 77. is seventy-seven. She looks what? I I was seventy-seven when I became a ghoul. Okay, never mind. Oh, but you know, someone's bound to hit that eventually. Someone hits that all the time, young man. <laughs> I didn't. Hey, I Quinn didn't say that. I'm just saying that out of character. Someone's bound to hit it eventually. And Hannah is telling you someone's already hit that young man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I left my farm and changed my name to Jolene. Did you think I wasn't here to steal your man? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Do you say this? Oh my, can, we, can we please say that this all was in character? Please! I'm down. Cool. Quint just looks, looks at her and goes, We're gonna be good friends, I can tell. Spark is just heavily face palming. <laughs> like, she is has farting. one hand on her face palm and just one hand shoveling pancakes into her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even got to the eventful part of this session yet. <laughs> Weirdly enough, this is one of the things that my parents probably won't grab me for. She starts not to not eating a pancake and she cuts up little pieces and feeds them to Sprague. Eggsy has its own stack that needs to uh, Did you hear that Ayalana stole the condoms? Oh no, but no. yes. <laughs> Ayalana, no. Ayalana. Does she start blowing up balloons with them? Uh, yeah, she's gonna rip one open and start blowing up a balloon with one. Ayalana. And Leilani's just, Ayalana, get that back! <laughs> and it, uh, she's just basically on the ceiling playing key away with Leilani and repeatedly hitting him with the condom balloon. Ayolana. Jake comes That's not their intended the use! That's not what they're for. Jake comes back out with pancakes. Oh no. Sees all this. Uh, Jolene takes several pancakes while Jake is staring. <laughs> when will take a few more, fold them up and put them in his pocket, and then Sarah what? finally gets one. Looks at it, doesn't understand what the hell it is, and just looks at Q, and Q starts eating one, and she just starts doing what Q's doing. Is Sarah okay? Well, like, she, so. like she, she looks at it like she's never seen a pancake before. Meanwhile, Leilani is just looking mortified. All the color has left his face, and... He looks up at Ayalana and says, I'm never speaking to you again! Then leaves. Does this he go back in the closet? The real door. Oh, okay. 
Well, actually, yes, he'll go back in the closet. Before he actually gets all the way through the closet, there's just an arm on his shoulder and Spark is pulling him away. Uh, please let me go. Oh my god! Oh god damn it, Ellen. Ellen! Yeah, she put oh, it in the god chat, too. Oh my god! Yeah, she put it in the chat a while ago. It's not oh, my fault, you male one. Ellen! <laughs> <laughs> These poor children. <laughs> this is why Jolene is coming with you, because you are all helpless without her. Except Quinn, maybe. Has Spark been taking care of herself for a month? Uh-huh. Only a month, huh? Shit. Mm-hmm. Secret, secret, Nicely backstory, done, backstory. backstory. <laughs> Nicely done, Andrea. Anyway, so Jake is just staring, and he's like, Condoms. Um, they're not mine. They are now. <laughs> Why does he have condoms? Uh, he might have drugs. Jolene gave them to him. Um. Hmm. Hey, Jake. How old are you? Uh, <sighs> I'm gonna be turning seventeen in a few days. Hmm. Crumples up her brow in thought. Okay. Why? Psst. Layla, what are you thinking? Um, no! Um, she kind of. She, <laughs> she looks over at Spark, then surreptitiously looks at Leilani, then her eyes flicker very briefly to Jake, then she looks back at Spark and raises her eyebrows. Has anyone seen that? That was unexpected. Dying. What was that, Hannah? Has anyone seen the chat? Because I'm dying. <laughs> Jury posting. It's not my fault. Your man wants me. Also, just old enough. <laughs> old enough. Oh God damn it, Jury. <laughs> Fucking Jury. I'm 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 trying to figure out whether I can ship these two or not. <laughs> well, if I you go yes. by yeah, if you go by the uh, the the. Half your age plus seven. The rules. Well, they're within a year. No, um, Leilani's t just turned twenty, and Jake's about to just turn seventeen. Oh, so I thought Leilani had just turned uh, eighteen. Eight. Oh no, no. Or was about to just turn eighteen. No, he I got I got my creepy vault ages mixed up. <laughs> yeah, he. Yeah, he he just turned uh, he just turned twenty a few weeks ago, and Jake is just about to turn seventeen. Okay, so like literally in years. a couple of days. Two years difference. That's or yeah. three. Three, three. Oh yeah, sorry, three. The I can math. I can't math. Okay, but he's half Leilani's age plus seven years, so okay. it's cool. So it's it's fine. cool. Cool. But yeah. She, so, so she just kind of got her eyes raised at Spark. Oh. Um, no, sorry, I was just wondering, because you looked like you were, like, about Spark's age, but I was wondering if you, like, weren't, and, you know, it's just nice that there's more teenagers around to hang out with. Yep. Okay. Pat, pat, pat. Choose. Meanwhile, Choose on Leilani. her pancake. Sorry. It's always nice when teenagers get close. Uh -huh. Leilani is just glaring wordlessly up at Ayolana, who is now trying to tie the condom into a balloon animal. Is it working? No, it, of into course a, not. No, into a balloon I, slope. She's trying to make a balloon slope. Find out how bad this balloon <laughs> animal is. A balloon slope hook. Please. The condom is lubed. Of course it's not working. <laughs> Of course the condom is lubed, why wouldn't it be? Why would I give the- excuse me, excuse me. Okay, both in and out of character right now, the only thing that an unlubricated- the, the statement that an unlubricated condom makes is the only thing I care less about than your pleasure is my own. <laughs> And that's why it's not making a good balloon animal. Why Why do I feel like you speak from experience? <laughs> you speak as if you know. Both in and out of character. <laughs> oh, Jolene in or out of character, knows. Hunter? 
Both. <laughs> Jolene oh and God, Hannah. Uh, I, I'm done with all of you. <laughs> I haven't done anything. A blanket tree called Leilani, a mature warning. Anyway. Leilani just looks like he's going to cry. <laughs> oh, baby. God, 45 minutes in, and... and meanwhile, Ayalana's just... Yeah. Hey, Leilani, um, I need to check something outside. Could you come with me, please? Yes. She takes him if outside. Ayalana come her with condom. If Ayalana comes down from the ceiling, please feel free to kill her. We're not gonna kill her. She just How would we do that? She basically just takes Leilani by the... Does Leilani still wear a vault jumpsuit, by the way? Yes. Okay, she takes it's him. Ratty, but yeah. She takes him by the the jumpsuit art, the, the the jumpsuit sleeve, and just kind of leads him outside. Our Leilani lets himself be led. Once they're outside and the door is closed. Okay, so you're kind of acting like you have a crush on Jake. A uh, what? That's that that's not allowed. No, not in the vault it isn't, but out here it is. So, do you like him? Did he let drop? Jolene placidly knits into the silence. Well, they're outside, so... Unless Jolene followed them. No. <laughs> God damn it, Bucky. <laughs> oh, Eli's thing is lighting up, but I can't hear him. Yeah. Yeah, I can't tell if he's frozen or... Bucky, I sent you a message. Oh dear, what are you doing now? Doom. Joey says, we're all adults here, sort of. I'm not. <laughs> Universally recognized as a mature and responsible adult. Layla, how quietly are you talking? Uh, quite quietly. She doesn't really want anyone except Leilani to hear her, and she's outside the building. With the door shut. Oh, are you rolling perceptions? Andrea? Maybe. <laughs> Jolene's old and deaf and has already figured out what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's pretty obvious. Yeah, but I'm sure Spark wants to hear exactly what's going on. It's fair. Oh, yeah, there goes Eli. Do you guys just want to go back to indoors? <laughs> yeah. So you guys are... Um, talk, yeah. kids. Yeah, let's just go back to the people inside. Oh, wait. Spark so, Spark, you can't hear anything. Damn it. Eli, are you back? Eli's lighting up, but still not audible. He's not even lighting up for me. Oh, he was? Yes. Oh, oh, there, there he is. Goes. There you are. Okay, well, you, you zarged. Are you back now? Can you hear us? Yep. Yeah. I believe I am, yes. Good, and we can hear you. Okay. So, the last thing that happened uh, before you cut, I believe, was Layla saying... So, do you like him? And then there was a stunningly appropriate silence. <laughs> yes, there is a stunningly appropriate silence, and then... Uh, I'm terrified of him, but in a good way? That sounds about right. <laughs> she kind of thinks and goes, I've never had a crush before, but yeah, I think that sounds about right. Listen, I know it's hard coming from a vault, one of my mom's kind of, like, her family came from one, so she kind of grew up thinking that, you know, girls were supposed to be with boys, and boys were supposed to be with girls. But then, she kind of smiles fondly, but then she fell in love with mom, so... A anyway, um, it just, it takes time to get used to. I get that. But you don't have to worry about it too much, okay? There... I don't want to get him... I mean, if he's still functional, I don't want him to be made un undesirable. You don't have undesirables out here like you do in your vault, Leilani. 
it's... Leilani just uh, sort of rumples his brow, clearly unsure what to do with that information. Out here, girls are allowed to be with girls, and boys are allowed to be with boys. The stuff that you need to worry about is, you know, whether the person likes you back and that you treat them right. I know I'm not hearing this, but this is like the saddest thing I've ever heard. Mm. Really, Lucky, did you get my message? I got your message. I don't know if I'll allow that. But then... Right. How can you make sure that you'll have enough viable uh, genetic specimens to carry on? Because we have more than 50 people out here. There are hundreds of people in the New Orleans land. We don't have to worry about that kind of thing. I still can't really imagine hundreds of people. I guess it's kind of a culture shock, huh? Listen, I didn't even think. know there were a hundred people in the world. I'm pretty sure there's more than that in the whole world. Listen. Le Sorry. Sorry. No, no, you go ahead. Leilani just uh, sort of uh, curls up uh, on the ground. Leilani, you gonna be okay? Everything is so big, Spark. Uh, sorry, Layla. No. Layla. Everything is so big, Layla. It, it must be even bigger to you because you're smaller than me, but... <laughs> the Not whole that... world. She falls around. Precious. Not that much smaller. Precious stupid infant. Besides, I grew up in this world. I even kind of used to it. You didn't, so you're not. So, if you have questions and stuff, you can ask me. I mean, I might get uncomfortable and not be able to answer all the time, and maybe you shouldn't always ask questions in front of Spark, because the whole breeding stuff and undesirables, that really upsets her. So, but... I mean, Le Leilani, did Rachel, like, tell you much stuff when you were living with her? About the wasteland. A little bit, but there was a lot that she didn't assume that I knew stuff, but she didn't know what I didn't know. I guess. So she only went through things as they became relevant, I suppose. I guess that makes sense. Well, we'll, we'll I guess we'll keep trying to do that. Just try and keep an open mind, okay? Things are really, really different out here from how they were in your vault. Ayalana's still an asshole? Uh... Yeah, but, you know, she's your <laughs> asshole. Leilani actually smiles. Yes. She, she holds out a hand to help Leilani up again. Leilani uh, takes her hand and gets up and says, Thank you very much for the help. Uh, it's okay. So I Then he takes a deep breath uh, and exhales it and says... I don't want to go back in. Ah, oh, goddammit. Vroom. Vroom, vroom, motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry. But he just says, I don't want to go back in. But what was Layla saying? You don't want... Is it because you're still embarrassed around Jake, or...? He nods. Hmm. But aren't you hungry? You only got, like, half a pancake. Yes, I'm very hungry. Look, why don't you come in and not worry... Okay, easier said than done, but try not to worry about Jake, and just worry about eating your pancakes. Oh, have we lost him again? I don't know. Damn, looks like... <clears throat> Eli? Yeah, I... Leilani says, yes, I'm very hungry. Well, how about we go back in and you try not to worry about Jake too much and just focus on eating your pancakes. How's that sound? That sounds very good. Thank okay. you. She uh, opens the door and leads Leilani in, still holding his hand. Everyone Leilani who's... is visibly grateful. Everyone who is inside, roll perception. Oh, dear. Uh, Does that include us? No, if you're c going inside, don't roll. Okay. Uh, did you keep 
you. Well, hold on. I'm sorry. I, I, um, maybe not perception. Let me check. Okay, you may roll occult education or intuition. Fascinating, Captain. It is this. So Q can re-roll that since I misspoke about perception. I rolled less. <laughs> oh dear. Ouch. I, got I rolled straight average before, so... Poor bastard. Jolene, Spark, as they are coming back inside, Spark is attempting to disguise herself as a box. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, that's my um... <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Ilana is still desperately trying and failing to tie the condom into a balloon animal, and one of her leaves pops it, and she just looks heartbroken. Oh, oh! I, I hand Ilana a new condom. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> and uh. then, um. Can I attempt to intimidate Spark out of the box? Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. She's in wait, a box. It's that wait. she is disguising herself as a box. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Oh, before, out of you box. Attempt to, before you attempt to do that, can I say, like, Quinn looks at it and goes, hey, that's my job. Let me show you how it's done. And he just, like, saunters over, and he just sits down, and he is now a box. Well, you don't know that she's yeah, a box. Yeah, you just, you just, oh. you're just a box. That's true. Oh, okay. Right, so Jolene, do your thing. Young lady, you come out of there right now. <laughs> um, so, to everyone else, it looks like Jolene is talking to a box. <laughs> um, Leilani blinks and says, Is one of the overseer's cameras in there? Uh, th there's... Honey, there's no, there's no cameras, there's, there's no overseer, there's just a child pretending to be a box. Hunter, what are you rolling for? Oh, that was my, that was my disguise myself as a box. <laughs> Why is it, everyone Hunter. disguising themselves as boxes? <laughs> Quinn comes over and goes, I am now a box, and he is, he is now a box. I hate all of you. <laughs> There's a bigger box since, next to the Since Queen box. just <laughs> announced, I am now box, do we really have to roll to figure out whether or not Quinn's a box? No. I'm uh, pretty sure just... we can see Quinn as a box. Um, he, has used, he has used a number of planks and wooden boards and stuff and is doing a stunning impression of a box. <laughs> okay, so questions. Where did the anti-hero and the supervillain go, and why are there now two boxes? Wait, Jake, wait, 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 time out, time out, time out, time out. Can, can, can we say that on either side of the box is literally written, like, you know, one ant one anti-hero open this direction, <laughs> fragile, and on the other one, one supervillain, fragile, open this direction. If it is just a regular box! <laughs> Quinn's can say that. Yeah, Quinn's is gonna say that. I continue lecturing the box. <laughs> Leilani just sits down, studiously ignoring Ayalana, still hitting him on the head with a condom, and quietly eats a pancake. <laughs> I think we broke Lucky, guys. Well. Layla sits down as well. Thanks for the pancakes, Jake. They're really nice. Young lady, why are you a box? <laughs> Jake, Jake is just staring at the scene. <laughs> Oh, yeah, two of us are boxes now. I don't know why. Leilani just murmurs, So gross. <laughs> oh, Leilani says you thank you, too. Guys. Yeah, you broke Bucky, guys. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> poor, poor now Jesus, you know. No. Broke him. <laughs> oh, my God. Now you know. Oh, my God. Get me out of here. No. <laughs> no, seriously, I can't get up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, Wait, let me try. The DM's gone. Do all the things. No, I'm back, you ass. <sighs> okay. So, Jake is just gobsmacked. Did yeah. Jake know that Spark can do this? I'm trying to remember if, if he would. 
I don't think she's done it in front of him yet when I don't but I don't know if she would have had a reason to in the weeks that she's been coming and going. I don't think so either. I okay. mean unless unless she was like, um, hey, look at this cool thing I can do since you can do cool things too. Maybe. Pro- actually yeah, she probably would have. Okay, so he he looks at um, the box, squints a bit, and he goes, Oh yeah, she does that sometimes. Somewhere in an alternate dimension, Flotsam feels jealous and she doesn't know why. <laughs> Flot in the box. Flot is not in the box. Flot is the box. Sorry. <laughs> All right, um, so... Jake, are you going to have some pancakes too? Oh, I've been having some. I've just been taking them out to you guys too. Okay, thank you. What mm-hmm. do I have to roll to successfully intimidate her out of the box? Well, did you already roll? I think you already rolled intimidate. Was it a 12? It was no, a that 10. Was... A 10. Okay. Um, spark roll. I think the check against intimidate is focus. Nope. All right. So uh, you, you are. Have two choices. Um, if it's uh, not stealth or po- uh or a Pokemon tech, then no, I'm not going to beat uh, the 10. Focus or Intimidate, because they can try and be scary back. Yeah, that's not happening. My Intimidate's worse. Um, either way, you fail the Angry role. box jumping! Either way, you are indeed intimidated by Jolene. By the way, I put a picture of Spark in the chat. I do have a shotgun. <laughs> Jolene does, Amazing. in fact, have a shotgun. Spark just moves slightly, and she no longer looks like a box. <laughs> Why this were you a box? That everyone on the outside learns how to do. <laughs> Look like things that they aren't. I just know how to do this. I can't explain why. I only look like things that I are. <laughs> Everybody roll occult education. Alright. Da, 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 da. Oh including boy. Spark or no? Uh, including Spark. What is well, my what? occult education? Okay, I'm just... Y'all thought you wouldn't need this, did you? Ah, oh, shit. Might? I thought, I thought that I might, but it didn't seem like that something is a no. would know about. Uh, that would that consider me a crit fail? I'm gonna consider that a crit fail, yes. So, if you roll Snake Eyes, it's a crit fail. If you roll Box Cars, it's, uh, it's a crit success? Yes. Yeah. Um, for Sweet. yeah, I'm going to say from now on that any time you get all ones is a crit fail. Any time you get all sixes is a crit success. Yeah. Like, I don't know why I can do this. Uh, well, seems... actually, no, not not with the um. Spark just thinks she is actually a box. Not not with the one d six though. I'm not gonna let you crit succeed on a one d six. Maybe not a two d six either. It seems fair oh, to me on. that uh, Leilani wouldn't be super good at this since. He's. There was never any reason for him to learn about ghosty type shit. You did yeah. well, though. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say ten or higher pass, um, and mm-hmm. I'm going to PM you both. Um, I'm just gonna PM you guys the same thing, so I'm just gonna copy paste it after I message Hannah first. I'll have to play around and try to increase uh, my knowledge more so that I can keep being. Uh, weirdly aware of shit. I mean, I'm, feel going, like I've made... I'm going to say that it's probably just something Leilani read in the uh, Wasteland Guide. Oh, that's I mean, I made right. my novice like, in like, Pokemon Tag, and I still haven't used this. it. I think I've used all of my <sighs> super good skills. I mean... You know what's hilarious? You want to know Leilani's best skill? Yes. General knowledge. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to penalize you on a few of those rolls. That's <laughs> fair. Ha. Ha ha ha. I'm uh, not done. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. <laughs> Leilani glances and says, I read about something like this in, uh, in the Wasteland Guide. I read about it yesterday. Sometimes people have uh, abilities, sort of like Pokemon, but less so. Like, some of them are psychic or able to walk through walls or or, uh, become other things. Huh. I don't care if she's a shapeshifter. I care why she was a box. (laughs) You're a shapeshifter, too? Two. Hmm? 
There's more than one? Well then, maybe it was a good disguise. She points. She points at the box that is Quinn. Why me? Why did That's I? It's true. Quinn did just loudly announce, "I am become <laughs> box." <laughs> You're not wrong. Why did I agree to? Agri has honest? walked walked over and is trying to open up said Quinn box. Agreeing, it doesn't. Agreeing to this strongly implies that you didn't come up with the idea to begin with. This is all on you, buddy. <laughs> Wait, me? No, no. Me. Oh, okay, sorry. Because I, I, I was saying, why did I agree to this? And Hannah is explaining that this was all my idea in the first place. Um, P.S. Just saying that for in the future, um, if you guys want to choose like other classes and stuff, I will allow supernatural stuff. Like yeah. I hope I. I hope I made that clear. I might not have made that clear enough. I'm sorry. You made that clear, I just don't think it's right for my character. I understand, but I'm just saying that in the future, if you, when you get to the point where you can choose um, additional classes, um, you may choose supernatural abilities. Cool, thanks for the heads up, Bucks. Mm, I'm, I'm sorry. How up work mm -hmm. for this one? Um, I haven't fully decided yet. Um, at the end of the session, or... I don't know, sometime before next session I will tell you what your experience and levels are. I'm sorry I haven't fully figured it out yet, but it's kind of complicated, actually. That's okay, That's I'm here fine. for the role-playing. Yeah, um, but Says don't worry. the person who hasn't actually finished her character sheet yet. Don't tell anyone! Uh, but don't worry, um, you guys will um, get levels and experience after this session, just maybe not immediately. I'll have to calculate it first. That's chill. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, Spark just looks over Lionel and is like, "I don't know if I would call it shape shifting." Everyone, roll perception. What is the other box doing? No, it's not the other box. Oh, why is this happening? Is this, uh... That box, another box, and then I'll mail that box to myself in order to rise. Ah, I'll smash it with a hammer. Smash it with a hammer. <laughs> um, uh, Ilan is going to bop the box with the condom. <laughs> oh, that's not a great Good. Goal. Eleven. I whack the bat with a dildo on a stick. I smash it with a condom. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, think all of you passed. Well, hold on. I'm trying to see what my. So I might not have passed. No, oh, you okay. passed. Oh, I passed. I rolled very oh, low. My perception's only two d six. I rolled a six. Also, oh, uh, is... let me. This is Jake rolling for sneaking away. <laughs> not quite. What oh, and. Uh, uh, just because I'm the one who does the impression, I'll turn him into a flea. Oh, <laughs> and then I'll put that flea inside of a box, and then I'll put that box inside of another box, and then I'll mail that box to myself. And when it arrives, ah, I'll smash it with the Hannah! Brilliant, Very good. brilliant, brilliant, I tell you. Genius, <laughs> I say. <laughs> I still Anyways. got it. I may not be able to do my Harley Quinn anymore, but I got this. Yeah, you can still, right. still easily. So, so you all pass. As you are discussing all the supernatural stuff, Jake looks exceedingly uncomfortable. Oh, uh, are you okay, Jake? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Leilani glances up at him and then just very quickly and looks back down and Spark Tanner, you over freaked and out on my shoulder. psychics. He has a psychic that? Pokemon. I said, kid, are you freaked out by psychics? No, not, not at all. Emma's a psychic Pokemon. Of course he's not freaked out about it. And I'll, I'll Spark just goes over and just pats him on the shoulder. Well, if we're doing anything to make you uncomfortable, you can tell us. It, it's fine, really. Don't worry about it, guys. She looks inquiringly over at Spark. Ayalana will bonk Jake on the head with the condom, and uh, uh, Leilani just looks mortified and says, Give me that! And yanks it away from Ayalana. Yeah. <laughs> she is also going to, uh, ver Layla is going to very swiftly uh, pick up Ayalana and move her away from Jake and then let go. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, Leilani will throw the inflated condom in the nearest trash can. Don't worry, we are professionals. Hey, get that out of your mouth! <laughs> Alright, 
So, anyways. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, Joey, I freaking love that. Spork and Q start boxing. Yes. Get out. It's, it's just the two boxers, like, like, bumping up against each other. Is Q still a box? <laughs> and no one's called him out on it yet. Like, someone's like, and you! Well, and then got distracted by something else, and so they haven't called him out on it again. He's just there, like. Has, has Spark stopped being a box yet? Yeah, Spark stopped being a box a while ago. She's... I'm very powerful, but I can only lecture one child at a time. <laughs> can you start lecturing him next? He's a villain and disguised as a box. Points at him. Oh, is this the first Jolene's heard? Oh yeah, of... you haven't heard the supervillain thing. Uh, well, she would have been around hearing about it, but um, Hannah has Can I has retroactively it... know what I apparently know about the superhero thing? Yeah, basically, um... <laughs> As you uh, know, Layla believes Spark is a superhero, and then beginning of session yesterday, uh, last time, uh, Layla asked if uh, why Quinn was all covered, and he said he's a supervillain. Good. I said well, it was a meant to joke with her, but then she kind of bought it, so I just kept running with it. Well, it's because and now she was like, I knew it! And then he has convinced Layla to call Spark an anti-hero instead. Good. Well, she acts more like an anti-hero than a superhero. Still not a hero. Anti-hero. Not a hero. Anyway. But yes, so she's she's pretty sure that Quinn is some kind of villain. Anyways, so yes, they, they, uh, Layla is convinced that he is a supervillain, and it's kind of adorable. Good. So. Um, actually, Leilani will pick up his sweater and wrap it around Ayalana and then tie it around himself so that Ayalana's squished against him. Good. Is Ayalana squirming? Yes. Stay! And she just... Eggsy's coming over and they started hugging Leilani's leg. Ah. Uh, ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Hello, Eggsy. Hi, Eggsy. Can I have snuggles? Says, um, Layla. She he quickly lets go of Le Leilani's leg and just, like, really, really quickly runs over to Layla and kind of just, like, tackle hugs her leg. Uh, oh my she, god. She scoops, my him up, she scoops him up and hugs, and hugs him close. And, um, Sprague, just, who has been on her shoulder, just kind of pats him with her sleeve. Leilani sighs with relief. Hey, Jake, how did you find Emma? Oh, um, well, she was a stray, and normally I don't pay much attention to strays because, you know, they, they beg and they don't, you know, they, they're, they're just... Anyway, I don't normally pay attention to strays, but I felt this kind of connection with her, and she was sick and she needed help, so I helped her. Aww. Layla's face just seems to melt a little. Spark is, by the way, um, hugging Emma and just kind of cuddling with Emma a little bit. Emma is making that happy face with where her little tiny fangs show. That's Leilani, really nice. Leilani frowns and says, Yes, much nicer. Well, I'm just stuck with Ayalana. And Ayalana just... <laughs> again? You love Ayalana, really. I do, but I also hate her very much. You have siblings, you should know what it's like. Um, I guess. I kind of butt heads with them sometimes, especially Ariel, but... Well, I love them. Exactly. I love Ayolani, even if she is a complete butthead. That's why I left the vault. 
Oh, yeah, um, Jake, Leilani left the vault basically to save Ayalana. Um, yeah. That, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, Leilani hmm. blushes and just pulls his knees up to his chest, and Ayalana just makes that ah! squish noise. <laughs> So, Leilani's pretty new to the Wasteland still, but my friend Garfield gave him the Wasteland Survival Guide, so he's been learning a bit. By the way, during the whole sibling talk... Hmm? By the way, during the whole sibling talk, Spark does, like, tense up a little bit. Uh, Ooh. do any of us notice this? Should I roll Perception? Do you want me Leilani to make definitely roll? doesn't, because he's paying a lot of attention to Spark. It's not Spark, sorry. Uh, to Jake. I can um, talk. Shut up. Uh, hmm. Andrea, do you want me to make them roll, or is it okay uh, if you just say... If you want to, but it doesn't matter. I mean, um, I mean, if it makes sense for your character to notice it, I'll allow it. Like, um, clearly, clearly Eli's character is not paying attention, so... I'll go ahead and say Layla's... I mean, since perception is, like, a high skill for her, she's generally quite aware of her surroundings. So if it's mm -hmm. all right, I'd like her to notice it, or I can. Yeah, roll. that's fine. Okay. Um, she mutters, "You okay, Spark?" Yep, fine, perfectly fine. Hmm. Uh, she just goes back to eating her pancakes. <laughs> this, this is this is my character who does not push people into talking things they don't want to talk about. <laughs> 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 cough, Threnody, cough. Um, so, um, Jake's just kind of watching you all, and he goes, So, what What? what time are you guys heading out? Probably should get moving soon. Uh, okay, um, well, keep, take care of yourself, Spark. Where are you heading to, anyway? Gideon. Oh, that's right, that's right. Well, yeah, take care of yourself. You you know how the wasteland is. Yeah, I know. Um, have, you, have you been as far as Gateon before, Spark? Usually I stay between uh, Phoenix and Pyrite. I usually try not to wander too far. I have gone out to Outskirt, though. Last time I was there was not a very friendly time. Why? What happened? I just got harassed by a couple of guys. Got drunk. One moment. Ugh. I need to open up a Google Doc. Well, I hope Eggsy burned them up real good. Uh, nah. They were too drunk to really know what they were doing. Uh, well, we'll look after you. I mean, not that you need looking after, but, you know, safety I, numbers, right? I, I probably won't look after you. I'll try, but I will not do well. Like, Lonnie, I wasn't hired to look after you. Yes, I have a shotgun. That's... Yeah, she has a shotgun. Uh, quick question, guys. Um, yes. Like, I know... Uh, I'm trying to figure out what would be a good role for, like, remembering something that mm. you experienced. Uh, let's see here. Um, Maybe general... If I was... Intuition or focus, probably, right? Actually, um, focus, yeah. maybe? I mean, maybe, Intuition general, or focus. Ed maybe general education, but... I'm going to save general education for other stuff, um, but yeah. Thanks, guys. Would, yeah. <gasps> what, what, Quinn? Quinn, what, what, Quinn? What? Oh, dear. Uh, let me just double check to see if, uh, you s uh, Oh, wait, I have a thing about focus. Give me a sec. Okay. Let's play Are Those Fireworks or Gunshots? North Carolina edition. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Uh, isn't that fun? Oh, yeah, isn't okay. it Memorial Day weekend? Uh, yeah, I no, think that's, that's next, weekend. next weekend. So we have right? people celebrating early, okay. Uh, yeah, it is next weekend, because it's, it's the last Monday in May. Either way, I hope shit stays safe. Yeah. 
Well. Hunter. I'll PM you. Okay. Thanks. We've got, we've got a guy with a gun collection and a hunting hobby at one end of my street. Mm. And really enthusiastic, legalized Canadian immigrants at the other. So it's like... That is... <laughs> Uh, it's it, it's like on hard mode. Uh, is it a Canadian holiday? No, no. They are um they're naturalized citizens to the US from Canada so, and they're like really into the fact that they're US citizens now. Oh no. Uh, so like all of the like American holidays like uh Memorial Day or 4th of July they get maybe they got Memorial Day wrong. Too. Maybe they got Memorial Day wrong. That happens sometimes. That's fair. <gasps> oh, Bucky! Yeah. You what? clever bastard. What? Oh, dear. hold on. Let, let me finish typing to you just to make sure we're on the same page. One, Quinn, remember that I thing. figured it out. Can I have Quinn figure it out? To make yeah. That, like, like, okay. Just, just give me a sec to finish typing. Is this to do with? Because you're lying, huh? It, what? Wait, is this to do with Andrea's character? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure I have it figured it out. Oh dear. Oh no. Okay. No, that can't. That can't be it. No, definitely not that. What? What can't be it? What is it? What is the dolly? No, I was just having a thought, and I dolly. Almost, it's PM almost, me. PM me. PM me. No, it's almost certainly PM me. not that. Tell us. No, I'll PM Bucky. Anyway, so Hunter couldn't do anything. No, why would I? Just wondering, because I mean, you remember that little fact. Like I said, almost certainly not. Interesting theory. But so now Quinn knows something, but we don't know what. It's it's How not a spark. Uh, uh, fifteen. 15. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's second youngest. Yeah. Um. I had a thing, but yeah. Um, what Quinn just remembered is not a huge deal at all. Okay. Cool. All right. So, you've never been to Gay on Port before then, Spark? Nope. Hmm. Has, any, have any, has anyone been there? I mean, I know uh, you haven't, Layla. Uh, well, technically, yes. Technically? I have. Technically. How do you mean technically? I was there. Technically. Before. Before when? A while ago. Do you mean like before the war? Uh, maybe. Huh. Are you being deliberately evasive? You were also there in your solo session, right, Hannah? Gideon Port? Yeah, I yes. was. I actually forgot. <laughs> How can we know what Q is thinking? He's just a box. <laughs> yeah, you um, have to think outside of the box. Hunter? Okay. Yes. Oh my fucking Didn't god. Didn't you message me that you were going to do a thing? It, it's not... No, I, I got this. I got this, Bucky. Okay, okay. I, I just want to make it. sure you remember. I, just, okay. I got it. Okay, I got it. okay, I got okay. It. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. We probably, we probably should get moving so we can get at least a good distance before nightfall. Yeah. Do you want For the record, Leilani has stolen the rest of the condoms back from Ayalana and put them in the pockets of it, his sweater. I'm gonna get a bruise on my forehead. Love. That's my. That was me last week. Yes, fair. Um, thanks so much for putting us up for the night, Jake, and say thanks to your dad too. Um, is there anything we can do to help before we go, like help clean up or anything? Um, uh, I don't think so. You you guys have been pretty good guests. Uh. So thank you very much for your hospitality, and I'm, uh, very, uh... Bingle! <laughs> what? What? 
Jolene coughs loudly. What'd she say? Single. Uh, Leilani just uh, goes wide-eyed and says, uh, uh, Bye! And goes out the door to outside, dragging I... Ayalana with him. Well, he didn't go in the closet this time. That's no, I think he's out of there. Layla is chewing her lip, looking like she's debating something. Layla? <sighs> deep breath. Holds the deep breath. Slights to turn, it starts to turn a little bit red. Then, um, lets it out and grabs Spark and pulls her to one side and whispers to her, Do you know if Jake likes boys? Oh yeah, he's totally gay. She grins. Okay. No. Layla, no. <laughs> Layla, yes. I mean, Layla, yes, but also Layla, no. <laughs> She's not gonna play matchmaker or anything, she just wanted to know. How does She's Layla get chastised for this when Jolene just loudly announced that <laughs> yes, was but, single? Okay, but... Okay, but Jolene is an adult and Layla is a small child who doesn't know what she's doing. And also, are we going to really chastise the lady with the shotgun? That's yeah. true. Yeah. I think I am the only person who actually brought a firearm. I mean, hey, I, have, I have an excuse. I say again, she, you know, she, um, I... Spark has a fire potato. True. Hot potato. <laughs> I have a shotgun. I have a knife. I have an excuse. <laughs> Jolene, I have a rock. <laughs> it was a big rock. <laughs> it was a big shiny rock. Rocket stubs. Okay, well, I think Leilani's ready to go. Um, so I'm just gonna grab my bags and then I'll be ready too. Spark grabs she... her bag and, puts egg and just picks up Eggsy. She grabs her butterfly net, arranges uh, the oversized handkerchief inside it as a little blanket, slings it over her shoulder and says, Sprig! And Sprig just hops from the table into straight, like like a little basketball, straight into the net. Whee! Good. Whee! With her sweater arms flopping. Yes. That is so And she, she holds out a hand to shake Jake's. It was real nice meeting you, Jake. Thank you for your hospitality. He shakes your hand back. And she thanks. Doesn't... Sorry, go ahead. Thanks for stopping by. You, you're pretty nice. You're really nice too. And then she um, <laughs> and she says, and and so's Leilani. But that's um, <clears throat> anyway. And then she crouches down next to Emma and holds out a hand to shake her little paw. Emma stares, does her smile, and then waddles forward with her arms outstretched for oh. a hug. She gives Emma a hug. It was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you too, Emma. Um, she waves. And uh, Sprig is waving as well from her from her uh, butterfly net. Do the rest of you do anything? Uh, Spark just goes up. Or I'll try to come back. I'll try to make a stop on the way back. No promises, though. You know how it is. Um. Yeah, I guess I do. Hey. Just be careful if we go back to Colosseum, please. I, I always am. I mean, I, you know, always try to avoid the days where it's raider heavy, at least. Raiders go to the Colosseum? Ugh. Some, yeah, they're, that's, that's the problem with Pyrite Town. It's nowhere near as bad as the Under. Like, that's a haven for raiders, but in Pyrite Town she, we get she a actually bit, She actually shudders quite visibly and goes, yeah, I know. And he notices, and he's like, yeah. Uh, oh, but if it makes you feel better, sometimes I like to fuck with the guys down there, and I'll spit my gum down in the canyon and throw flyers and shit. Good. <laughs> Spark actually does uh, laugh at that. Just make sure they don't catch you. Reminder, oh. Leilani's alone outside. <laughs> oh, well. oh, on the, on the leaves in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> on the way out, uh, we'll find Leilani. On the way out, Spark does kick the cue box. He's like, come on. Uh, the entire box just came, like, 
crumples in on itself and Cute just comes out of the bathroom wiping it wiping his hand on a towel. Yeah, let's get going. <laughs> Layla does a double take despite herself. <laughs> and then and then she just kind of <laughs> forcibly shrugs and goes, eh, I saw it coming and then just walks out. <laughs> <laughs> I think I killed Andrea. <laughs> Andrea, you Andrea, okay? come back to I'm us. <laughs> Andrea, you may be the stealthy character, but I'm the one that can disguise disguise myself as anybody. As a box. As a box. Is it I box? <laughs> um, for the record, Leilani's just it. Uh... Okay, well, guys, help. Don't yes. help you. Andrea, no. <laughs> I can't help you. We're inside your computer. <laughs> oh no. I'm glad it's you and not me. My bed is three feet off the ground. So is mine. Oh god. <laughs> Guys, I think she's really stuck. I am. Well, I oh, can't dear. help her. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna try and push off from the wall. You might just have to fall down, Andrea. Oh god, where's your Swim laptop going? Down. Swim down! <laughs> Hi. There we're, she we're is. We're down here. <laughs> <laughs> nope, so I'll never do that again. <laughs> Cough, Andrea is very pretty. Cough. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Alright, there you go. Andrea. What? Ah! Okay. So, anyways. Where did my glasses go? Y'all leave? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I need to find my glasses. Hang on. And okay. for the record, Leilani's just chilling uh, outside. Oh. Nothing wrong has happened. I was just reminding you all that the dumbass is outside in Pyrite Town. He was, um, I'm sure he was right next to the door. He can come back if he was being attacked. Some someone does walk up to you. I don't. I don't know now. Oh shit! Slowpoke. Ah, that's a good point. Someone oh, does walk up, up to you. Because uh, I'm outside with him now. Okay. Well, some someone is like you know kind of eyeing you up and down, and walks up, and says, "Where'd you get that vault suit?" Um, the overseer gave it to me. Oh, so you're from a vault. Yes. Oh no. And Leilani, uh, Leilani is kind of pressed back against the wall, but Ayalana is puffing up a little underneath the the sweater. Jolene is watching. The guy glances at Jolene and then back at Leilani. Goes, which vault? Leilani looks down at vault number five four six on his jacket. Cool. Where is it? Um, Leilani tries to do some mental map work. Someone stop him from giving away the location of his vault to this clearly shifty character. Is uh, I oh, see Andrea frantically. Yeah, I want to do something, but I'm not there. Uh, 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 but is an 18 high enough to get this guy to fuck off uh, <laughs> with a very scary mom look? <laughs> um, well, he's not gonna roll higher than that, so yes. That may or may not be, uh, in including a shotgun. Tell me what he does. Or what he does in response to the very scary mom look and presumable shotgun cock. Wait, 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 I have the perfect picture. Give me a sec. I gotta go uh, find it. Oh, no, no. Keep going, keep going, I'm keep not going. mad, just disappointed. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm gonna disappoint your ass into an angry grave. <laughs> Early grave, god damn it. No, the grave is angry. Angry at being used up so early. That's fair. But the important part <laughs> is dead. I can't roll shit. Alright, so um the guy is clearly intimidated by protective grandma, but and he like starts to take a step back, but he's still watching Leilani for an answer. And uh, Leilani says, I don't really know. I mean, 
I know that I've walked a long way towards the big light, but then the big light moved, so then I wasn't going towards it, and... Oh, <laughs> I have no idea. I, I presume it's somewhere... It's okay, isn't I, it? I think it's somewhere in the wasteland. Well, that's helpful, kid. <laughs> well, as we've been a great help to you, you can be on your way now, friendo. <laughs> Hand on her shotgun. The oh, guy. Is, is this someone that I should be uh, wary of? The guy looks gives Leilani a funny look. And, um, and nods. Thanks, guys. And wanders off. What the hell was that? He didn't tell me what it was, but it was a clever man. Um, Hold on. Hunter, are you outside? Um, probably. Why? Oh, dear. Oh, no. Can I roll anything else? Uh, let me see if there's anything else that would fit, because unfortunately I don't think so, but... Survival? Uh, Guile? If, uh, if, out, if if Quinn is outside, Layla will be too, because she went out the door before him. Yeah, just okay. before me. Do I need to roll anything? I think it's you just know what, that. You oh. know what? Ev um, everyone I can already, roll perception. I already All rolled, right. so I'm not going to so, roll. Yeah, anything. Spark already rolled. Leilani is visibly okay. confused. You're and aiming. Says, Did I do oh. something wrong? Layla oh, passed. Oh, hi, 22. Uh, and may I point out that. What Bucky were we crit? aiming for? Uh, you were aiming for 12 or yeah, higher. You ah. crit on, a, on 2d6. You rolled 12. You crit. Bro. Yeah, but I'm still going to say that Layla notices because she was pretty. She also rolled 2d6? N no, Layla rolled 4d6. But two, well, two, well, yeah, but and she two rolled... of them were sixes. Mm. Oh, yeah, I see yeah. what you're saying. I am not good speak words. <laughs> what, a, what a word. Alright, give me a sec. I think that's the thing I'm looking for. So, I'm doing my budget for becoming a real adult. <laughs> and I want you all to know that I'm currently making negative $102 a month by my own estimate. I oh, know the feeling. I also know that feeling. It's fun. Good luck with that. Yeah. It's going great. Everything's fine. I love adulthood. <sighs> <Yeah>. <sighs> From the homeless shelter, I so feel you. <clears throat> I need to work on my business. I, I, I think I think we all all feel you. Yeah. We we all know the horror that is adulthood. Mm -hmm. Yep. By the way, uh, once we get beyond the city, I do want to do a thing. Oh no. I'm gonna do a oh, thing, yes. guys. His DM voice. Uh, no, his voice just always sounds like that. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, once, uh, once they get, uh, a good par part of the way out of town, uh, Spark will kind of pull Leilani to the side and say, it's probably not a good idea for you to just start randomly giving out your vault's location. Layla oh, Furrows... I... Go ahead. I didn't know where it was anyway, so it doesn't matter that much. Even so, it's not smart. There are people out here who would love to go in and just tear it apart. Don't. Say a word about it. Go ahead. Layla furrows her brow. Hey, did any of the other did any of the rest of you see that tattoo on his back? What tattoo? Yeah, at that exact moment Quinn also pokes up what? Well he had Spark. a tattoo again because that tense well, she tends to do. It's like what tattoo? It, it was on his back. It looked kinda like a bird with its arms all on fire. Um, I don't know, it was black. But its arms were raised up like this, and she kind of raises her hands over her head. Quinn is going to fish inside of his, um, in his layers, and then pull out a piece of paper. Did it look like this? 
Bucky, did it look Cop like this? Copy, <laughs> copy pasting it into um, the what what Hunter is presenting into the chat. Yeah, that's it exactly. Spark is very very rigid. Why? Can, can I can I see Quinn? Can I say Quinn sees that she is this? She's rigid. Yeah. Yeah. Layla's looking between the two of them. Why? What does it mean? Uh, uh, here's the thing. Can like Quinn and Spark like look like look at each other's eyes and just like have like share a moment of? We're after the same folks. Wait, wait a minute. Are these the ascendants you were talking about? No, they're not the ascendants. Well, who are they then? I don't know. The people who were and I was at Outskirt had the tattoo. Okay, out of character. Are the Ascendants the same as Team Storm? Because I'm real confused. No. no. The Ascendants um, are more like the Enclave. Yeah, to give you like an idea, like how much of Fallout 3 do you know about Hannah? Uh, every time I try to get past the first quest, my computer crashes and it won't let me play anymore and it deletes my save file. That's well, do you know what the Enclave is? Uh, are they the ones with the iBots that tell you everything's gonna be great? Yeah, they're the America guys. Okay, oh, that's everything I know about them. I mean, I assume they're extremely evil? They are extremely evil indeed. Um, and I really need to just get a PS3 version. Yeah, the, the Ascendants are basically um, my import of the Enclave. The Team Storm is my import of Caesar's Legion. Okay, I don't know who those are either. Uh, Caesar's Legion is the big antagonist in New Vegas. They are rapists, enslavers, and misogynists. And uh, imagine the absolute worst, um, worst uh, version. All the worst things about Rome without any of the good parts. Haven't rolled above a 10. Have not rolled above a 10 today. God, what, what would you have to roll to counter that? Counter what? I feel what? guilty because it's so early for you guys to be figuring stuff out. Welcome, okay. to, welcome to Hatter's Game. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, what happened? Um, how far out of town are we? Um, you haven't left yet. What kind of knowledge would I have to roll to correctly identify that tattoo? Uh, it's a post-war thing, and it's not very well known. Oh, and Jury's asking if it's a ho -ho tattoo. No, it's not. Um, here, I'll... No, I, it's I posted, posted in there. It, it's posted. It looks a little bit like a ho -ho, but... It looks almost like a phoenix. So what would I roll? Um, I'm gonna say general knowledge, but you'll have to roll very high. That's fair. Sorry, I'm using crackers. It's not going well. Can I? Did I see the, what this guy looks like? Um, I mean, he was hanging around for a minute, so. I'm gonna very quickly look around to see if I see him again. He's Can wandering I off into 12 isn't the high enough. It's not high enough, no. Fair. He's Spock wandering gonna... where? Uh he's trying to um go back to blend in with the crowd. Oh Spock hell no, moving. I'm staying on him. Quinn, let's just go. Leilani it looks confused. It but we'll try to follow them at a polite distance. Give me 20 minutes, and I'm going to uh, roll Guile to uh, to disguise myself and uh, uh, so, uh, um, as some random waster. 20. Spark is not going to allow uh, Leilani to go on. He's just going to grab his shoulder, and he's like, no, we are not following this. Ah. Uh. Um, okay. I stay with the idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn can take care of himself. If you hear screaming, run. Layla In which looks, direction? Layla, oh sorry, yes, fair. Layla Two? looks 
Layla looks like she wants to follow, but um, does the more common sense thing of staying with the others. Uh, I put a I, hand on the tiny child's shoulder just in case. And I'm going to follow this gentleman disguised as another just random wastelander with a 20. Uh, <sighs> and Sarah is like, you know, under under the folds as she usually is. And I want to... I want to disguise myself as a... Uh, a wastelander who's important, like maybe in charge of something, something like. You rolled a, a twenty um, on your guile roll, so I'll allow it. Like, okay. Maybe I don't know you. He he looks like he owns a very very large trade network. You are carrying merchandise from Dick's Bowls. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know what? That, yes. Okay. Okay. You follow him. You follow him. I follow him. You kids want to learn how to knit? Oh, yeah, please. <laughs> what do I... What does he go do? Um. He, um... Are you sneaking or just walking after him? He's trying to blend in with the crowd, so I'm trying to do the same. Uh, and, and, you know, I'm trying to blend in the crowd so he doesn't see me. But even if he does, I am i don't look like what I would look like. So. Right. Roll sneak, and I'm going to roll perception to counter that. Uh... Oh, you probably pass. Well, Yikes. considering I'm going to use my focus ability and give me a plus two. Yeah, you pass. I don't auto even pass. Roll. Don't actually. even roll. Yeah, don't even roll. Wait, it... I, wa I want to just to see if I if I crit. No. Um. Well, see, so yeah, he he does not notice you. Um. Uh. He's not trying super hard because he doesn't think he's being... He doesn't have any reason to believe he's followed, so he's not going to be trying to sneak himself. So you you can follow him pretty easily. Okay, where does he go? Um, he... One moment. PM. Um... Let's see. Okay. Um, so he is kind of wandering through the crowd, and he, you see him slip into a hotel slash restaurant. I'll give him 10 seconds before, no, I'll give him 20 seconds before following. All right, you go in, and he is sitting at a table pretty casually, um, talking to a waiter ordering food. Is it a seat yourself, or do you have to wait? It's to seat yourself. It? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Is he sitting in the corner, or is he just sitting on on a wall? He's sitting in a corner, um, so he can see the entire restaurant from where he's sitting. Is this gonna end up like one of the that scene from Emperor's New Groove with the menus? <laughs> oh my god if you hadn't said anything the gifts would have been coming in soon oh my uh, god is there any shiny objects in, in the in the place um I mean there's um, glasses and plates they're you know a little bit they're as clean as they can be in the waste mirrors glass walls something uh there's a mirror or two behind the counter uh, one in a 40,000 chance? What? Ellen, what are you talking about? Okay. Um, would there be any way I can sit down while be able to see him in the mirror? Because he would want to be able to sit with 
in a place he could see the mirror so he could get a second advantage point as well. Uh, yeah, I, I don't I can't think of any really good sly way that you can do that. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll sit at the table next to his, but with my back to him. Alright. Now, here's a question. Are these the booths that have, like, nothing underneath? Or... Um, what was that, sorry? Are these the booths that have nothing underneath the seats? Except for <laughs> chair legs? Or are they solid? Um, they're solid. Is he looking at the menu? Yes, and he's, like, chatting with <laughs> Dally. <laughs> no, he's not chatting with Dally, unless the waiter's name happy birthday Dally. from all of us to you. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna have Sarah roll stealth to sneak under his, um, his, un his under his table. Um, roll. Um, can I get a bonus because she's dead silent? Yes. And they're both distracted? Yes. Okay. So her stealth is... Ooh, Jesus. It'll be a bonus on my end. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. She, her stealth is, stealth is her best skill. Tw oh, come on! Twelve. A oh, real perception I, for him. I could have used focus and made it a fourteen, but I... Meh. Ooh, you just barely beat him. Ooh. Um. Eee. Kisses. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, he doesn't notice Sarah. She's gonna start trying to, like, see if he has anything on him. Without touching him, or getting too close. She, by the way, heat is off, glow is off. She's gonna try to see, like, he has anything, like, in his pockets, or, like, in his boots, or something like that. Boots, what she are you doing here? <laughs> oh my god. A little tiny Tasmanian devil. Um, or an el or an elderly clone. I'm, I'm, a right, bounty hunter walks in, Wang. <laughs> anyway, did you uh, know that Tasmanian devils are born? Uh, um, what? Actually, no. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. Ah, oh, shit. Um, in like you, well, Sarah finds a bunch of hidden weapons in his boots and stuff, and like you can, she can see a few like bulges around his pant legs, not like that, um, indicating that he has like different, you know, devices or possibly weapons, something strapped to his legs. If she was to do stealth like now, would she have to roll again, or would she? Would she be able to go with the, the same stealth roll? It depends on what you do. Going back to our table. Yeah, you can go back. No no issue. Panic at the disco! Anyway. Um, so she's probably going to relay that information somehow to me. Or uh, maybe... Interpretive dance? <laughs> she mimes it. Yeah, they probably have, like, a signal for weapons, and, like, saying, like, one, two, many, lots, unknown, something like that. Because, you know, Sarah's very no-nonsense. They have, like, you know, this plan, and then go with that plan. Okay, may or maybe, like, he asks, um, what, what he have, and she touches your knife or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, touches where the things are. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna listen to the conversation he's having with the waiter. And see if I catch anything. I'm, I'm specifically listening for, like, thief speak. Or this world's equivalent. Um, you don't catch any, like, real thief speak. He's just ordering a meal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit there and wait the, the 20 minutes that uh, I told them to wait for. And if, uh, does anything strange happen? You see him writing. I would like to point out that this man is having a meal without any Pokemon battles occurring in a restaurant. That is very strange. 
Fucking hell. Yeah, I'll take a burglary burger along with uh, some thieve fries and, and uh, a sort of a larceny lunch. <laughs> hey, I guess hey, 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 what's the problem with thief speak? You can't understand it. Because. Can't. Oh my god. Thank you. I'm glad someone got uh, it. <laughs> um, would it be possible? Would it be possible Ugh. to stand up and. Uh, uh, see what he's writing? Yeah. Roll. Um. Well. Well, first I want you to. Um. I want to see if you can tell, like, actually catch what he's writing. And second of all, um, I don't know if I want you to roll stealth again or not. To... Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm still disguised as a well-to-do guy, well-to-do wastelander. And people writing has to be at least a little unusual. Hmm. At least a little bit. So if I stood up and just looked over and immediately saw him writing, it probably is no th weird thing that I'm looking at him for a moment. Because he's writing. That's a little weird. And then go on and do my business. But in that moment, I want to see if I can see what he's writing. Okay. What do I um, do? Roll perception, then. Oh, Jesus. Please tell me he's writing something like, I see you over there. <laughs> he writes down, why don't you come sit with me? Okay. Quinn is now I'm using these. focus. Now in the situation, I have I'm... a I have a link for this, but keep going. Is this ne'er do well flirting with me? Fourteen. Wait, that's a crit. <laughs> well, yeah, that's great. Um. Okay, so he's writing, and here is what you catch before he notices you and slides the paper out of view. <laughs> Right. I'm freaking love that song so much. Ha! I got it stuck in your head too. Mm -hmm. Although, turn about is fair play because you're the one who like showed me that song in the first place. It's a good song, isn't it? It, it is. is a good it's song. amazing it's range. It's a really good song. Have you seen the music video for it? Yes, that is also a really good music video. It is so good. It's uh, have you seen have you seen the the the, the video of like him b it, in the back room getting stuff painted and he's dancing to like dubstep? I have not seen that. As the to, demon, uh, it's so to, funny. Need to look that up. What had a seize? Oh jeez. So that's what you managed to catch before he like sees you and you know slides his paper out of um, your line of sight. Okay, I'm going to leave uh, and then I stand by uh, my interpretation. That oh, don't worry, I found that, a dick. That seems flirtatious to me. Well, I found a dick. I'm not. I'm not saying I didn't find a dick, uh -huh. but <clears throat> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave the restaurant and then go back to the group. And that I'm is indeed going... a dick. Oh, um, and I'm going to yes. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Should clarify uh, what Hatter and I was talking were talking about uh, because there's no context for that outside of written down. Uh, was the song "The Emperor's New Clothes" by Panic at the Disco? Okay, moving back along. Is okay. that the one where he like turns into a demon over the yes. course of the music video? Yes. Oh, it's so good. It, it's beautifully edited because it all looks like one clean shot. Anyway, um, yes, so I'm going to go find the group, and I'm going to grab Spark, and I'm going to lead off to the side so the others don't hear. Layla's following. Oh, God. She's put putting down the knitting needles. I like this. Oh, the anti-hero and the villain are getting together. I should be in on this. No, it's mostly just kind of, she, she marches right up to Quinn and goes, okay, explain. Let me go back over to Jolene. But you guys seriously aren't going to tell me Layla. what the heck Layla. that tattoo? Layla. What? what? Layla. What? Go. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and then just Sprig, noises. Sprig Distressed joins, noises. Sprig joins in on the squeaking too to see who can go higher. <laughs> uh, 
I do want to point this out that although you never actually see his face, Quinn always has like a really happy, uh, funny de- uh, disposition. He is straight faced right now. Quinn, are you seriously going to tell me what that tattoo means? Quinn, why do you sound like some kind of text alert? <laughs> uh, for the record, Leilani stays over by Jolene and is cuddling Ilana. That and was Jolene's sort of pre-war phone going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, a Nokia. I that text from 200 years ago. It's a Nokia, the goal right? have a It's a Nokia. It's a Nokia. <laughs> it was totally a Nokia. Um, okay, so uh, Quinn is going to go go say, go back to Jolene, and then start walking with Spock, uh, walking with Spock in the direction. Oh, I'll go back to Jolene, all right. And she just marches back to Jolene, fuming, and then gets to Jolene and Leilani, and then points over at um, Quinn and Spark and says, they're keeping secrets. <laughs> they won't well, Leilani, they're antisocial brats. Oh, you have Leilani to expect says, that sometimes. Um, Ayalana says that Quinn went to a restaurant to, along with, uh, well, after the shady guy. Wait, okay. what? Uh, you were being tailed. Oh, snap! I totally didn't... Oh, snap! I was so worried about getting to the... Following the guy, I didn't think about being followed. Brilliant. You clever bastard. <laughs> I love you too, Adder. She just grins at Ayolana and um, holds out a hand tentatively, like offering to tickle her under the chin. Ayolana looks very pleased with herself and allows the scritches to occur. She scritches, Good, Ayolana. So, guys in a restaurant, but look, I, I just, I just want to know what the tattoo means, because it's not the mythical ascendance. I mean, you know, that's what Spark said, and I believe her, and it's not Team Storm. So, who is it? Isn't there a one? Um, Leilani's other going to look. Through... Through... Hang on, I have an idea. Oh, are you going to look through the Wasteland Survival Guide? Also, what was Jolene saying? Oh, my bad. Sorry. The the ascendance. It, it's fine. It's fine. She just said the ascendance. Yeah. Um, it's it, like it's partially my bad too for not elaborating um beforehand. That is absolutely no worries. Also, I want you to know that every time I think about this song, all I can see is this post. Oh no. It's several minutes late, but... Yes! Yes! Oh my god! (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? What the fuck? Why am I seeing this? What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm just gonna post this in the chat so that Jury can. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't have an account, so you can you can stick that in the chat. Oh, why am I seeing from me. this? I don't know why. <laughs> oh no. Dally's character be like, is it a little pibble? Oh my god, it's a pibble! Oh my god, it's a pibble! It's so cute. I want to die. I want 50 pibbles. I'm so mad. I'm, like, looking for apartments, and all of these places have, like, breed restrictions on oh. dogs. And none of them actually say, no fucking pitbulls, but that's what they all mean. Mm. And, like, I don't oh, even my... have a pitbull. I'm just I... offended. Because mm. they're they should... so sweet. What they should pitbulls be banning are... is irresponsible trainers. But anyway... All dog apartment complex. All dog apartment complex. All right, Eli. Eli. Damn. Elu. I thought he was back. But yeah, was Jolene saying something? Wasn't there a third group? There were four groups. There's the kindred, which are basically um, Brotherhood XPs. 
Um, there's the Ascendants, which sound really fucking evil and narcissistic, but as far as everyone in the Wasteland can tell, they're either a myth or died out a long time ago. And the new there's... Sorry, I love um, that. <laughs> uh, there's Team Storm, which, as I described, um, horrible, evil, worst people ever. And there is the new Unova Republic, which is essentially Murica. And not like the uh, the Ascendants type of Murica, but like the... New um, California actual... Republic? Yeah, um, but I don't know if Hannah knows about the New California Republic. Yeah. Um, Imagine 50s America. I know the stuff that was in Kellogg's backstory. Yeah, they're, they're like... They try, and they're optimistic, and they're actually... They actually want to help people rather than exterminate them um, through e eugenics and genocide and shit like that, like the Enclave does. Um, yeah, the the new California Republic, and by default the new Unova Republic, has its flaws um, mm. and has it's, its corruption, they're but they are... Um, the lesser of various evils. Yeah. Mm. Ass butts, eh? I think I'm back. Uh, uh, what did I miss? Um, I was just explaining the different groups. Alright, and uh, may Leilani roll general knowledge to look through the uh, Wasteland Survival Guide to see if he can find anything about the uh, symbol. I can tell you right now you're not going to find anything. Um, Damn it. Does Layla does, does Layla know if it could be possibly any does she know any symbols related to the new Unova Republic and the Kindred? Uh the new Unova Republic um generally associates itself with the symbol of a two headed Ursa, Ursa ring. ring. Yeah, that makes sense. How did you know? Um and the um, kindred usually associate themselves with um, steel types in general, but they favor steelix in particular. Okay, and am I correct in saying that she would not think that it is a team storm? Um, uh, it's not a team storm thing. I mean, it theoretically could be um, because it's a bird symbol, and one of team storms, um, the things they worship are, as Eli had suggested to me, thank you, Eli Zapdos. Okay. Um, but this looks more fiery than electric-y, as yeah. you can see. So she's, she's just kind of, she's got her arms folded, and um, Sprig is sitting on her head mimicking her as best she can, because obviously she can't fold her nubs. Um, <laughs> and she's just, she, she's trying. Um, so Layla said, okay, so it's not the Unova Republic, it's not the new Unova Republic, they have an Ursa Ring as their thing. It's not Team Storm, Ding. they have lightning things. They, they worship lightning Pokemon. It's not the Ascendants, because Spark said it isn't. And it's not the Kindred, because they're more into Steel types. So... <sighs> I wish they'd come back so I can pass them into telling me what it is. <laughs> Leilani it says, Well, all Ayalana knows is that they went to a restaurant well, Quinn was looking like something else, and Quinn left after the shady guy put on an order and wrote something down. <laughs> Layla is looking very antsy. If this, were um, well, anywhere, if this were anywhere other than Pirate, I would go after him myself, but my moms wouldn't want me to get into trouble. I'll let you guys RP. I'm gonna go pee real quick. Okay. Alright. But Leilani is genuinely petting Ayalana, and he says, ah, I hate you, but I don't hate you that much. Good girl. Yeah, that was really clever. Always a good idea to keep an extra set of eyes on the supervillain, definitely. She is very clever. That's... That's what she does. The, um... Our, our copies are actually given to us when we're both about three years old, so that way they can match up our personalities well. Well, that makes sense, but when we first met, weren't you surprised that I had a Pokemon at my age? Oh, not you at your age. Um, Jolene at her age. Oh, right. That makes sense. Yeah. 
they will pry a a ron out of my cold dead again hands <laughs> Layla I was just... about to say, they may have already got one of those. Layla just grins at Jolene and says, I like you, shotgun lady. I like you too, kid. Yay. She, 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 she looks pensive for a moment and says, Kid's just going to be my nickname, isn't it? I don't think you're a, a kid, exactly. Really? I think... I think you're younger than me, but you're very smart, so not really a kid. She looks incredibly pleased at this. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, I like you too, Vault Boy. Vault Boy! Everyone must have a nickname. Um, Ayalana makes a noise that sounds like dee -dee 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 -dee. and you came from a vault too. Knock that off. <laughs> Layla is going to look around and see if Quinn and Spark are coming back. Are you? Uh, I don't know. Hunter? One sec. No problem. Okay, so who could they be? They were interested in Leilani's vault and probably going and raiding Leilani's vault. So, who do we know who does that? Out of character, who do we know who does that? Vault hunters? Um, Raiders? Oh, I, I was kind of asking Bucky if Layla can think of anything um, or possibly needs to roll. I mean, hypothetically, Team Storm could. Um, raiders might have an interest in that, and in, you know, getting supplies. And um, slavers might have an interest in that because fresh meat. Okay. Um. Uh, just the the basic stuff. Okay, so she'll recount this kind of thing out loud that they could have been raiders or slavers but not anyone particularly associated with the um, major four factions, with the possible exception of Team Storm, but she doesn't think it's Team Storm because of aforementioned reasons. Ah, shit, I've got something in my eye. Sorry. Oh, no. Uh, but Leilani actually looks distinctly horrified and says, Our history books said slavery ended years ago. Well, it did, and then the bombs fell, and some scum decided to bring it back. They put slave collars on people, and it's not nice to think about. Don't worry, we're not going to let that. Ayalana actually makes uh, just this shh noise and puffs herself up bigger. Don't worry, we're not going to let that happen to either of you. I don't want it to happen to anyone. Me Nobody neither. deserves that. They've tried before. They'll try again. I'll on kill them, too. On you? Why not? Are they stupid? <laughs> Funny, they're slavers. Lucky. Of course they're stupid. They got what was coming to them. I hope you killed them good. I, I know that they're evil, but evil and stupid aren't mutually exclusive. <laughs> Sometimes they're just cowards. Um, she... Leilani uh, is thoughtful and says... Sorry, getting some chair creaking. Will... Sorry, that's me. No worries. Leilani says, Will I have to kill people someday? Um... You never have to kill anybody, kid. I mean, I've never... I that she, that's true. She puts up a hand. I've never killed anyone. At least not as far as I can remember. Um, Sprig has um, kind of 
rappelled down on Lay- on Layla's hair and just curled uh, curled up in her arms. Leilani anxiously wriggles and says, "I hope that that doesn't change. I never liked it when people died, even though I'd well, I wouldn't see them again, but you know I'd." till the fields and know that they were uh, providing. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. <sighs> you know, for trying to leave, we're really taking a long time actually leaving. Are they yeah. back? Uh, I don't know. Are they back? Uh, no. Uh, Bucky, does the restaurant slash, uh, inn have a, uh, window? Yeah. They're at the restaurant slash inn, shit. Can I glance in to see if he's still there? He's still there. You're gonna start a fight, aren't you? Fight, fight, fight. You're gonna, fight. you're gonna start shit, aren't you? No, 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 no! Don't do that. I was oh, not shit. prepared. Um, incidentally, looking around, can Layla see where they went? Yes. Where did they go? That way. Oh my God, Andrea, just. So you guys are, are, like, outside of the restaurant, right? Yes, question. Yes. Is there another store somewhere nearby? Um, okay. there's a variety of stores around the area. I mean, there's, um, you know, Jake's fam. Jake and his father own the general item store. There's some clothing stores, some... I know. need somewhere I can buy a large bottle of liquor. That would be probably back at Jake's. I'll buy a very large bottle of liquor. How how much would that cost me? I'm going to say 15 caps. Fantastic. Okay, so... Cool. I'm going to roll Guile again. Uh, to make myself... To disguise myself as a, a drunkard. Mm-hmm. And to s- disguise Sewa. Roll. Spark is just watching from the distance, like, what are you doing? Oh, and no. can I... <sighs> See, the thing I have planned isn't exactly infiltration, but it's... I'm definitely going to be getting very close to this guy. Spark is keeping her distance. Could I use... Usual. Are can you I about use... to set this dude on fire? Because I'm ready. <laughs> can I... I mean, use... it's exy. Can I use my uh, my my specialty uh, ability? That gives me a bonus uh, six. Oh, that's a tough one. And I am I am giving myself the proper amount of time to really disguise myself in Sarah. Remind me of your ability again. Um, it's ooh, oh, give me a sec. Gotta find it. Uh. Yeah, where'd it go? That way! No, what? It's it's that ability, that, oh, skill stunt, that's it. Uh, I choose one of my, uh, one of my skills, and I give it a very specific uh, situation, and if I meet that situation, I remove a die, but give myself a plus six. Um moment. Alright, and what is your specific situation again? Uh, it is guile, and it is meant as an infiltration. But I'm definitely trying to get this guy to think that I'm a drunkard, and I am in his personal space, and I'm really sorry about it. Guys, do you think that counts as infiltration? Yeah, I think so. Same. Okay, yeah, I'll allow that. Okay. 
Sorry. 19. I, Not the um, best. Still pretty good. I'm going to roll for him now. Yeah, you beat him. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a big swig of the thing. You know, put it behind my ears, put it on, put it on my wrist, mm -hmm. right? And kind of splash it on myself a little bit. And then I'm going to stumble into the restaurant and, like, look around for the table, get my eye on one that's close to his, come stumbling over, and when I see him, what does this guy look like? Um, he's kind of, like, not extremely short, but, like, shorter than the average, um, average person, average dude. Um, he's very scrawny, um, kind of squirrely looking, has short, kind of military cut black hair and dark eyes, and he is kind of pale. Okay, I did explain the, the plan to Sarah, but I wanted to fold, uh, unfold here, um, I'm going to, like, you know, get get the table near him, and then take a swig, stumble in his direction, and then fall on top of him. What the fuck? All six feet of, all six feet. And in doing so, you know, splash the drink around, clatter the, the drink, and when he's distracted, I want to slip the paper that he's writing on off the table. So Sarah can pick it up and she can vamoose out of there. And while she does that, I like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Let me, let me, let me clean you up, clean you up. And it's not trying to like pat him down with like paper towel or whatever napkin they have. In doing so, I'm actually just end up spilling more drink on him. Um, both you and Sarah roll stealth. <sighs> okay. Uh. Uh, I'm definitely going to have. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use every uh, every possible thing I have here. So give me a second. Is there any way that I can help Sarah in any way? If you cause another distraction, somewhere to, to distract him even more, that that's a small. Well, I, I have a three d six to stealth. I could somehow help Sarah with stealth. No, show stealth is three d six plus two. Hmm. And and that's if I don't focus her. If I focus her, she gets another plus two. So she's pretty high. What I need is me, because I want to have a 2d6. I don't have... I, uh, I'm i trying to... Oh, okay, here's the thing. I'm trying to manipulate him. Mm -hmm. But I don't... Because that's a manipulator. Expert manipulator says I gain a plus two uh, checks against him when using manipulate m maneuvers and the only ones they have is terrorize flirt and bond mot which isn't exactly what i'm doing <gasps> wait wait yes 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 i am i'm trying to enrage him so he's distracted can i use that yes sweet i can use my guile instead ellen says flirt <laughs> No, do my it, do sucks. It. Do it, do it, do it. Ooh, not 66. I'm not that good. Okay. I rolled a 15. And um, Sarah rolled a 14. You both pass. Oof. I'm sure at this point, like the like I'm trying to clean him off and dab him off. And like I'm, like, just making a bigger mess. The establishment has, like, picked me up and is about to throw me out, right? Yeah, a couple of waiters are coming towards you. They grab your shoulders roughly, and they oh. literally drag you out. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I just, I, just, I just wanted a drink, and my one arm's, like, kind of flailing a bit. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Getting liquor everywhere. I'm... I'm sorry, man. You just... just I'm, uh, and then I'm out. I'm, they just physically throw me out of the out of the place and when I land I, I kind of get up and stumble away and then I find Sarah Spark is <laughs> over by her what the heck was that <sighs> his notes what's on it uh oh what's that 3d6 Bucky 
Oh, I failed anyway. Oh, okay. Let's <laughs> see. I'm gonna take the notes and look at them. What do they say? Except from the thing I've already seen. Yeah, I'm going to um, copy and paste uh, this again. And then I'm going to continue the note. By the way, we are also walking back towards the group. Mm -hmm. I, I was not letting this go without at least some kind of lead. I've knitted three sweaters in your absence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the way, he's reading the notes. Spark is definitely trying to look and make sure he's not leaving anything out. He's six feet tall. He can just raise raise the notes up to his face. Do we see that they're coming back? Right, I'm just trying to make sure I have everything that he would say. <laughs> Are you hitting on me? All right. So, uh, um, it, are you is. Is Spark able to read the note, Hunter, or... <laughs> oh my god, Dally. What what, what Dally do? Yeah. Roll. What? what do I need to roll? Uh, I don't know to hit. I don't know what the to hit is. I think it's a d20. Okay, roll a d20. I will I roll think. a d20. I'm not sure. Fourteen. I think that's a pass. <coughs> Hold on. Why is this train wreck <laughs> happening? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know exactly what I'm doing yet. You will. Sprig um, string shots the note out of... Well, hold on. Uh, I guess Hunter should get a chance to roll to resist. Um, hold on, I I'm reading the rules What is that, here. like a reflex save? Yeah, I, I guess it'd be a reflex. <laughs> it's a sneaky tack. He does. He's he's busy reading the notes. Uh, yeah, but I still need to give him a chance. Okay. No wait, hold on. Would that be acrobatics or athletics? <laughs> uh, athletics. Because I think he's gonna fail that regardless because his skills in those suck. Okay, so, so he, he, here's what it is. You have to give a DC based on 1 to 5. Like, how tough is this task that, that he's trying to do? Uh, 1 to 5. Okay. Um, and, mul uh, like, and then multi multiply that difficulty by 5. Okay. Uh, that sounds fair. Yeah, I'd say it'd be pretty difficult to dodge that, especially since it's um, a surprise attack. So I mean, he does have it in hand, but that's the, that's the same for um. Dub 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 dub. String shot. <laughs> Couldn't think of the name. I'm gonna give it. Uh, you need to roll higher than ten on an acrobatics check. Why why do you do this to me? Deli, why? <laughs> this is what you get for keeping secrets. <laughs> well, I'm going to use focus because he is focused directly on the note. Okay. And that is the only bonus. Is what you get? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I might be able to I might be able to pull something out of my ass here real quick. Any way I can do anything? You okay, Hannah? <laughs> I'm just over here knitting. Is there is there any way like I can if, if if it actually leaves his hand I can get the note? Well, and here, here's it. the thing. Before before you know she messaged you to say I want to get it out of his hand. I was trying to say that I was showing day eighteen to her to, to spark. spark to spark to read it All to right. prove a point that she's underestimating them. Well, that was vague and melodramatic. 
But so PM PM that matters deal. It, in the process of like you know showing it to her, uh, I'd be like she's reading it when that happens. So I don't know. So that's like up to you. What you're, you're holding it over. Um, I'm so gonna Spark say has a chance to grab it. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's going to be the same difficulty. Um, you'll have um, to what? get a ten or higher on acrobatics. Uh, I haven't held a of a ten all day. Damn it! <laughs> Can no, maybe oh, oh, now is like your moment. The same number. Okay, so Sprig string shots the note and manages to get it. And lasso so basically is like lassoing it, except with you know sticky instead of lasso, and sort of just basically brings it, <laughs> lassoes it over to her and Layla, and Layla grabs it. The moment that happens, Quinn's running up. Give it. Um, Layla's, Layla holds it to her chest protectively. Can I roll something to make her give it to me? Like, command? Um. Uh. Are we still still? Ayalana. Sorry. No, no, you go ahead, Eli. Ayalana is actually going to get between them and puff up to a hun her full 125% of her usual size. Are we still standing outside Jake's house? I think so. I believe you are. We have not moved all day. <laughs> <laughs> this hasn't it's actually just... taken that long. No, it's, yeah. still, it's still morning. It's still morning. Yeah, this is taking maybe 30 minutes. Layla, as soon as she has the note in hand and is clutching it to her chest, opens the door back up and marches inside and says, Jake, we need some privacy. Can we come back in? Okay. I'm Quinn's following in. Give it to me. We all deserve to know what's written here, don't we? Yes, and I was going to share it until someone snapped it out of my hands. Hey, you didn't share it before. What makes me think? What? Why should I think you're going to share it now? Because um, I just Ayolana's, got it. Ayolana's still getting in at your face. I w I'm going to look at her and go down. Can I roll command for that? Or intimidate. Well, Jolene has ooh. raised too many children to be perturbed by this. <laughs> Layla is actually going to go over to Jolene and give it to her and say, Jolene, you're the oldest. Can you read it out to us? 17. Uh, I, I take the note and I guess read it aloud. I need the All note, right. though. I'm copy-pasting it into the chat. Okay. Day 18. Found a vault dweller from Vault 546. Do not know where it is. Director Hathon will be very interested in prime specimens untainted by the wastes. We'll call the update later. Should not be hard to find. Sparkle goes Uh, For the record, when it, when it, uh, Q said down... It, uh, Ayalana just collapses uh, down to the smallest she can be and floats back to Leilani. And Leilani holds her, but then when it, he hears that, his uh, hand just sort of automatically goes uh, to his chest where the vault number is. Okay. I told you, a clever man would be able to find it. Okay, who's Halfon? No idea, but it's the first lead I've gotten in months. Why didn't you tell us who these people are? You obviously know something about them. I know they're killers, I know they're kidnappers, I know they're thieves, and I know that they experiment on people, and they don't care about anyone but their own kind. People? Le Leilani actually sighs and says, Oh, experiments, that's all. That's no. Actually, experiments are the only thing that make them different from the rest of the people in the wasteland. Kidnappers, murderers, and thieves he's gonna aren't exactly hard to come by. Uh, at this, like you know, as he's talking, Sale's like trying to get on top of him and cover his mouth. And, and by the time like it all, he says everything. It's just, he's just, she's just like. <sighs> What's up with your? Pokemon? Smacks him upside the head, and then gets back on the floor. Did you all hear what Spark muttered to herself? No. What did Spark no. say? Say it. Hi, Andrea. Say, Say it. it. 
Hi, Andrea. Say it. Say it. Well, I guess we hey, didn't Bucky, hear. What was it? Bucky, what I was guess it? you didn't hear after all. Oh, well. Bucky, what was it? Well, we can easily just go back and listen to it later. Oh, good point. <laughs> it is really, really Andrea's Andrea's a butthole. <laughs> Andrea has abandoned us. <laughs> oh. Is she like she sisters or something? Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh god damn. That's Hold on, wait, wait. Well hey, played. Andrea. Well played, Andrea. Hey hey Andrea. It it doesn't it's not gonna help you all that much because it's recorded. They can go yeah. back. <laughs> I'll sell it. And yeah, no. Quinn's just gonna like, like gesture to Sarah and go. Prime example of the, of the experiments. Wait, they experimented on Sarah. They made Sarah. They made her. I thought fusions just I don't know happen sometimes because of mutations. She's she a genetic. She glances She's a down perfect Sprig. genetical genetic mixture of the two. The ones on the wasteland are imperfect. Hey. In one way or another. She she hugs not, she hugs Sprig. He doesn't not, mean that not way. Not imperfect oh. as in bad. Imperfect as in they're not one hundred percent what they could be. Well, I guess Sprig is more oddish than Wormpool. Pre war people used to breed Pokemon to get the best stats possible and all and whatever. I feel. I know about that. Essentially, they're doing the same thing by fusing Pokemon types. Can you imagine what a what a dragon fa uh, a steel fairy type would be? be oh. Well, but why did they small make small and too heavy to fly? Actually, small and too heavy to fly. Actually, <laughs> um, I uh, Leilani says I know about IVs. Uh. uh I know about all sorts of pre-war breeding. Well, but it, why... It, it rather fell out of favor with Pokemon, at, at least in my vault, but they said that was a part of the, um, the, uh, um, thing that I'm not supposed to talk to about Spark. Okay, but, um... Learning. Well, well the, why did they make Sarah? I don't know. I was in there maybe for 30 minutes before I was forced out. What happened? Right. Did you save her? He's going to be very quiet, and you notice that he like reaches for his uh, his stump. She looks from his stump down to Sarah, and then back at his face. What? Is that how you? And she just kind of gestures his arm. That's to say, I was trying to help some people, and. uh... I saw a lot of things I shouldn't have and paid the price for it. I'm starting to think you're maybe not a supervillain. <laughs> Guys, we need to get out of town if we need to. We're going to make a spaghetti on the juice. I'm already. <laughs> no, we need to get moving. Uh, and he's, he's going to very, like, he's going to make the gesture so that he wants to pat on the head and then stops and then just sighs. She, she smiles slightly. Hey, you remembered. Um, and then she just kind of she holds out her hand to Jolene to ask for the paperback. They took people from my village. Her face goes very, very still. Stragglers, drunkards, homeless, scavers, anyone that they wouldn't notice immediately. No rate. <laughs> Sorry, what? I didn't no. I physically didn't hear that. No rate. Just She's gone. They That's... leave town for one reason or another, and never see him. Um. She moves forward slightly, and then just holds out her arm to her arms, as if to say, "You know, do you want a hug?" <laughs> He'll give her a half smirk, crouch down, and hug her. She hugs. Leilani uh, uh, starts to, looks like he might say something, but Ayalana just uh, smacks him and he, he shuts off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, 
uh, Quinn will stand back up and go, Spock's right. We need to leave town. Once he realizes his notes are missing, he's going to start looking. Hey. I was disguised, but he may see through that. Jake, I'm sorry for what I've done here, but you need to make sure no one with that tattoo comes around here. What do you yes. mean, experiment and kidnap on people? I'm sorry, Jake. I don't mean to upset you. Okay. And he's hugging Emma tight. Oh. Hey, Spark does is... go look over to uh, over to Jake and uh, will whisper something in his ear. Typey, 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 typey. typey. Uh, who has? Oh, he's gonna go while that's happening. He's gonna go back over to Jolene and just hold out his hand. What, for the notes. Yes. Hannah. Yes. Uh, you still doing okay? I'm here. Cool. Are you um, gonna give the notes back? Huh? Oh, yeah. Cool. You Sorry. can take some and put some somewhere in the folds. Um, Layla, meanwhile, uh, crouches down in front of Sarah and says, Hi, Sarah. Um, I don't know if you understand me or not, but... We're going to make sure that they don't hurt you anymore, okay? Just Finger like to the lips. Huh? To, to... Like put f Yeah, to be like, shh. Oh, and yeah, we won't tell anyone. She puts her finger to her own lips. No, no, she like puts her finger to your lips. Oh, yeah, she kind of, she kind of like, <laughs> she says, uh, <laughs> she puts her finger to, to Layla's lips, okay. She gently takes her paw and moves it away and says, okay, we won't tell anyone, and then puts her own finger to her lips. She rolls her eyes as if you, like, you don't quite get what she's trying to say, but she's okay with how this has turned out, and then t looks at Quinn, is like, is nodding to the door. Layla stands up. She doesn't really like talking to people, does she? She doesn't like people. For obvious reasons. That she seems doesn't, fair. She doesn't seem to like Pokemon either. Sprig is Sprig is making indignant reeing noises. As, and far as, I, as far as I know, she grew up her entire life in a glass box with only her brother. What happened to? Uh, the moment he says that, he realizes he's fucked up and looks at Sarah, and Sarah just is glaring at him. You know what? We don't need to know that right now. Jake, is there, does there happen to be a back door we can go out of? Um, Jake is currently whispering and muttering exchanges with Spark, but when you call his name, he looks up and he goes, Oh, um, there's a side door. I'm just thinking maybe we shouldn't go back out the way we came in case people are looking. I'm gonna glance out the window. Do I see anyone that's, like, looking around for people or see that guy again? No. Okay. It's stuff all it'd be good. Um, yeah. Leilani will actually unzip the top of his vault jumpsuit, uh, slip it down, tie the arms around his waist, and then grudgingly put on the sweater. That's, a good, that's a good idea, Leilani. Aww. The less people who know you're from a vault, the better. Good. And that wool will help. Wait, is it made of wool? Question? Uh. Uh. uh I don't make... know, man. Some <laughs> I mean, sort of weird Pokemon wool. Made I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be Pokemon wool. I'm I'm thinking I'm going to allow real-world animals to exist in this world, albeit not as abundantly as Pokemon. Animals. <laughs> you you could say that they their the, the, the mutations because of, of Pokemon from the radiation. Ha. <laughs> they just... It's really weird. It's like it, it, it it's. It's like a oh my god, what are they called? It's like the a bear. Flaffy. It's the, like a, the bear and Avatar. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. But no, it's like a Flaffy, except it's not electric. So um, you mean, and then say another. Uh, is it is it a monster? sheep? You mean an electric sheep? No, just a sheep. Weird. This place is weird. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Leilani is just vi visibly embarrassed about the slow poke thing, but. It's worth noting that because he was doing the quick change, he was bare-chested for a moment. Jay. Jake. Jake gets, gets the anime nosebleed. Please no, that would get over Spark's hood. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, Unfortunately, 
Unfortunately, Jake is too busy um, talking to Spark and like muttering and whispering to her um, to notice. Damn, that's fair, Aww. but damn. I know, I know. I, I want to ship too. Oh, and we should be more careful about whether people are following us. She looks over at Quinn. You know that Ayalana was following you those two times, right? Thank you for telling me. I was so focused on getting a lead, I wasn't fully paying attention. And then in Qu- the future, Sarah just kind of smacks him upside the head. You, in you the definitely... future, maybe Sorry. we should trust one another enough to not send a giant hovering white cloud after the master of disguise. Um, I am on a very <laughs> good at being sneaky. Says it, I. Uh, Leilani, and to prove a point, Ayalana actually slips into Leilani's shirt, and all this, there's not even a bump where she should be. Huh. huh. You, you definitely get a sense that uh, Quinn and Sarah aren't necessarily friends, they just are working on the same goal together. We should get moving. I figure we should stay together as much as possible. When you're in a group, it's easier to keep an eye out for if you're being followed and for what you're looking out for. Alright, Jake op- um, pulls away from Spark to open the side door. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jake. Sorry for the trouble. I hope we see you again, like, under better circumstances. I hope so, too. Take care of yourself, like Emma. I'll make, he a nods. Run I'll make a run back here as soon as I can. Leilani will walk out with Ayalana still inside his sweater. Quinn will do the same. He's um, still wearing his vault jumpsuit, just only as pants with the arms tied around his waist now. Mm. It's better than nothing. Sprig is back in the butterfly net, and Layla is look uh, goes out and kind of looks around just to see if there's anyone nearby or anyone who might be watching. Um, no one seems to be watching. Cool. They'll make their way out of Pyrite, I guess. Yeah. Um, as you, as you leave Pyrite Town, Hannah, remember the three do shady dudes that you gave their Pokemon sweaters um, in yes. your private session? Yes. They are standing at the front of town, and do you know that moment in Wally where Wally is leaving and the robot who who's just frantically what? at Wally? Repeat that, you Zarg. Yes. Everyone's always oh, for me. Uh, I yeah, I'm posting, hosting it, so. so. Oh. Yeah, you you remember that moment in Wally where, where Wally is leaving and the robot he just taught how to wave is like waving after him. Yes. Yes. It, it's kind of like that. The guys all have their Pokemon out in their sweaters and they are waving very enthusiastically after Jolene. I wave. I wave back. <laughs> they continue waving enthusiastically. <laughs> Back on the road to Gideon. Mm. Was that Arcanine wearing leg warmers? <laughs> <laughs> that Spinda had a cushioned bottom, too. Mm. Oh, what was the third one? I can't remember the third one. I think that, that one was a more of a normal sweater. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, so- I know it was a normal sweater, but... Oh, I wanted to say it's I- Viper. No. Yeah. A Viper sweater would just be I think it was one of the, a, like, fighting warmer. types that actually has, like, arms and legs and whatnot. Hitmonchan? No. Oh, Tyrogue. I think it was Tyrogue. Yeah, that might have been it. Let's get back on the road and hopefully see some Pokemon so I can actually write them down. <sighs> I should have never. I should have never. Hindsight is uh, twenty twenty. You'll know for next time. <laughs> Dally but. saying it's okay, Bucky. Hannah saying suffer. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm more on Hannah's side with this one. <laughs> Hannah's actually ha- Hannah's you, actually been a DM. You before. learn only through suffering. <laughs> okay, well, okay. Uh, I'm not enjoying it because he'll learn. I'm enjoying it because Schadenfreude. Mm. Okay. Um. Is there anyone who feels particularly strongly towards stopping or continuing? 
It's only eleven o'clock. Um, I know. Go either I'm way. pretty tired, and I've I've got more stuff to do before I go to bed. Um. So you want to go, Hannah? Yeah. Okay. Um. So we didn't even get to the thing <laughs> that I wanted. Welcome to my campaign. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even get to yours yesterday. Sorry, Bucky. I know, and I'm so sad about it. <laughs> mm, stupid late night, but but we could maybe tomorrow, right? Yeah. Hopefully, uh, it depends on what time my sister and I go and see Civil War, because she really well, wants to see it. Well, we also, need Andrew, to... I sent your thing. We well, need to make sure... Oh, yeah. Marty You've only sent two. Yeah. Age okay. right. of Ultron please. hurt me, and I need time to heal. Civil War is That's better fair. than Age of Ultron. Then again, it's, I not, hard. You, it's not hard to be but, better than Age <laughs> But my favorite characters were Bruce Banner and Natasha oh, and no, the things no, they did to no, them in that no, movie. No, no. Yeah, no. I, I, I'll give you that. What happened? If you know the Force, a romantic subplot, subplot happened, Alistair. Strangled oh, by the Red String. Heterosexual subplots. It's kind of what we were kind. It, it was like take the Hawkeye, uh, uh, Black Widow thing from the first Avengers movie, times a hundred. It came, but like sadder shit, and more it, awkward. It came yeah. shit fuck out of nowhere, and they're better as friends. And oh god. And also. The Black Widow mysteriously forgot how to pick locks? Huh. Yeah, that like, was weird. I'm pretty sure I could have escaped from that cell with a bobby pin. <laughs> and Natasha being the only one who could calm the Hulk down, I read a post that basically came up with a justification for every other character being able to calm the Hulk down, and like, it's like, no, no, let's make it the woman. I, yeah. Uh... I read a post I kind of liked that essentially implied that Nick Fury had, like, asked her to manipulate the Hulk into being in love with her so that she could calm him down. Mm. Which explains some of her, like, flat and horrific characterization line-wise. Mm -hmm. But I'm still upset. Yeah. It was horrifically misjudged. It, yeah. <sighs> but anyway. So, yes. Okay. Some of the bonuses of not having money? I didn't see it. Yes. Neener, neener. Okay, so did you say we're oh, pulling... introduced a lot of characters, like, too fast. Hmm? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, like, I that... don't have a problem with any of the new characters, there's just so many and it's all at once. Ultron, I... Ult... Mm, not Ultron. Civil War was good because... Well, I suppose Ultron kind of set up a lot of the characters so that they didn't have to introduce so many in Civil War. But I think Civil War did a good sort of spread with its characters. Um, That's what I've heard. I'm aware All that right. I'm, st I'm still streaming. Should I stop streaming? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, please. And by the way, can uh, hear me bitch about Marble. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bucky, thank you for DMing. Dally, thank you for streaming. And everyone else, thank you for playing with me. And everyone, Yay. thank you for listening. Thank you, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night.